What's going on guys? What's up? Howdy, howdy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up? This is my, uh, this is the YouTube copyright free happy playlist, just so you know. In case anybody was confused as to uh, what we were listening to. This is Do It by MBB, Vlog No Copyright Music. God bless. Can I just, I'm just trying to like, not mute this. Oh god. Oh, I really need like a bigger slider. That's what I want. Nice. Alright gang. How goes it? What's new in the hood? You guys ready for some Saturday hangouts? Welcome, welcome. We've got a Jesse skill tree in the chat. We've got a tiny T, i.e. Dyad League. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Dumpster's here as well. And Carthor. Hey, guys. Warm welcome. How's things with y'all? Everybody looking and feeling good and all that other good stuff? Definitely need a bigger slider. This is too hard. One cannot simply... What's up, you old ginger? <clears throat> wow. I like how we've gotten to that stage, guys, where you just feel comfortable enough to say whatever you want without any filters, you know? You know how when we first met each other, you guys were all polite? Where, where did that go? <laughs> where did... We're working like always, says Carthor. Alright, nice. Carthor, how long have you uh, how long have you been at work today, my man? Aquia is calling you slow because you're late again. Oh, no. Jesse, I need you to be the best ambassador and give Aquia my most humblest apologies. I am sorry. <laughs> About four hours, all right. Chilling house full of kids is tiny, all right. Just, just random house full of kids. What's you got? You got relatives over today or something, tiny? Are you in like a? Are you being the really sociable part of the family, just hiding in a in a corner, just chilling on Twitch and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> nice, 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 guys. We've got a pretty good Saturday lined up. We're gonna stream some uh, some Final Fantasy for a few hours. We're gonna. Chat some nonsense. We're gonna grind up some of our weapons and some of our XP levels. We don't really need to grind XP, but it will be a byproduct of our time spent today. So I'm looking forward to that. At the end of yesterday's stream, we actually did end up talking about how um, we were, you know, we could have either pushed on with the story or we could have just stayed and potentially tried to grind up money to level up uh, Lightning's weapon, which I really want to do today. So I think that's how we're gonna kick things off. Um, so let's just jump into Final Fantasy for the time being. I'll get rid of our music here. It's weird when it cuts out like that, but... Alright. Nice suit. Let's go ahead and minimise. So we realised yesterday that, um... Yo! Okay! <clears throat> this has become a running theme! Hey, can we get some love in the chat for Warrinks, guys? There we go. Yo, Warrinks, thank you for resubscribing with Twitch Prime! Eight months! Damn! Warrinks, one more month and you get the little red paw, if uh, that's at all interest to you. Thank you for that. Welcome. Welcome back. Um, have You have been judged and forgiven this time. You're welcome, says Jesse. Alright, thanks guys. <laughs> much, much appreciated. We're here uh, in the middle of, well, we're actually close to, um, was it, what's his name? Is it Tynes Tower or something? We are deep 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 into chapter 11 guys we are nearly nearly finished chapter 11 we have been doing a lot of work running around the planes we've got access to our chocobos now we've actually pushed past the planes and we've actually been to this tower and um, we've, we've pretty much completed it for the most part there's a couple of fights inside it that we can't actually accomplish just yet there's the the fight at the bottom where you take the elevator from the top to the bottom it activates the music list and then you end up fighting the boss i tried to fight the boss once and he was pretty powerful riley what's up welcome riley thank you um, so for the time being, um, we could go to the top. We've already defeated the Falsi who waits at the, at the top of the tower, so that was quite good. We did that yesterday. That commenced our, our hype train after the fight, so that was uh, yesterday's stream. And yeah, we could push on. We could go into Erba, which is um, also on Pulse, I believe. It's where we're heading to, and we're trying to get to that point down the tower, I think. Um, if I remember correctly. I'm not entirely sure. It's been a while. But I think before we do that, I'm actually going to go back to the planes and we're going to do some missions and we're going to do some grinding. Now, there's a couple of things I want to try and look at first before we go too far. And I want to try and upgrade this uh, this item that we have that um, gives us the chance to 
get better drops from the enemies. Now, I don't know how much the item actually improves our drop chance, but if I go into equipment, we've actually put, um, we can take the platinum bangle off lightning, and we can actually put on the, where is it? We've got this item, collector's catalog. Increase the odds of obtaining items after battle. Now, if I put this on, it only increases the the chances of drops on rare, uh, rare, I think, like, the common items. But if we upgrade it, it can actually give us an increased chance to get the rare items as opposed to just the common ones. So what I need to do is I need to go into Google and I need to look up uh, Final Fantasy XIII Collector's Catalogue. We're going to open a guide here. Uh, I can show you guys exactly what I'm looking at if anybody's at all interested, just out of curiosity. Um, over here on... This is what I've been doing basically. Every single time I've been looking up an item to potentially level up. Um, if we upgrade this, I think... Um, let me see here. Upgraded from Survival Catalyst, Shroud After Battle. And it can go up to the Connoisseur. This is what we want to get. Um, in order to upgrade this, I think it looks like we need a, um, a, an Mnar Stone. We actually have one of these. But um, I don't know what level we need to get it up to. Um, let me see here. Survival Catalog, and it goes up to this at rank 7, I think. Okay. We'll leave that for the time being. And uh, we'll try and upgrade this a little bit. We might end up spending a little bit of money for that, so... No, no, I have a 9-year-old and a 7-year-old, and one of them has a friend over today, says Tiny. Alright, no problems, dude. I see, I see. So it's just, uh, just some homies. Uh, skill tree's been busy translating, so Jesse's up to a page 106 on his novel now. That's awesome, Jesse. Keep it up, my dude. Uh, Riley says, "Jack, morning, everyone. I'm having breakfast with my fam." Riley, what's up, dude? Are you enjoying your Saturday? Say hello to the family for me, please. Hey, that rando I got matched with in Monster Hunter and capture just like uh, was a capturer, just like me. Hey, Sushi, what's up? Welcome. How how are you enjoying uh, Iceborne Sushi? Is that a good time? Right, let me just, uh, oh, cancel that. So I don't think we have to put a lot of effort into upgrading this, but I will have to buy some resources. Now, the, the problem with buying resources is that we are trying to make money. Right now, we need to get up to 200, I think it's 20, 220,000 gil at least, okay? Now, right now, we're about halfway. If I actually end up buying items and stuff right now, I am actually going to end up uh, reducing our money, but the hope is that in the long run, it's going to benefit us. So... If you guys give me two seconds uh, to think about this, I want to go into Creature Comforts and I want to try and buy, let me see here, probably some Iron Shells maybe. We're going to spend a decent amount of money here guys, it's going to be a bit gross but just bear with me. I need to try and uh, upgrade this arm armament as much as possible, so accessories. Uh, if I categorise this, it should make things easier to find. You can see yesterday we did a lot of good work. We got our Warrior's wristband up to max, which gives Lightning 180 strength. We've also been upgrading our Sorcerer's Mark as well, so Hope's now got an extra, like, 140 magic, which is pretty insane. So there's a lot of good stuff happening there, but... The main reason I want money is so that we can buy the upgradable item for Lightning, uh, which we can buy from the shop. We have the shop already accessible, which is nice, but it is expensive, so we're trying to come up with ways to try and, you know min max our resource gains i guess we could just drive a bit in the chocobo and look for nuggets which we found two of yesterday that's what got us up to our current money levels so we could try and rely on that but it also seems like that would involve a lot of just like wandering about and i don't know if we can be arsed with that so uh let me see here i just bought 40 of these i am going to go ahead and put like 25 of these into the item we're trying to get the bonus up to times three so i'm going to go ahead and do that there we go and now I have to try and get this thing up to max level, which I think is level 7. Um, according to my guide, I don't know how much XP this thing needs in order to get leveled up. XP to mask skirt. I mean, it says 1000. Maybe it only has one level, guys. Maybe I just did all that for nothing. Um, let me just actually have a look. I might have just made a mistake, but who cares. Let's go ahead and use some of our shitty items that we don't use a lot of. So, like, bomb core. We That could actually be perfect. Uh... Trying to get rid of some of these crappy items that I don't need anymore. Um, ring joint, 600, yeah. Let's use a ring joint. Improved, there we go. Alright, so, 
With that, now what we can do is we go back into the collector catalogue and I think using our item, our Minar Stone, I think we can just upgrade this straight away. There's one last thing I need to check before I do this. Luckily we already have this item which is great. Um, I just want to have a look really quickly at what Saz needs. Oh no, in fact I looked up this yesterday, he needs Dark Mar to upgrade his weapon. Uh, the only thing I was scared of is that we might use this when we might need it for something else. Uh, we might need it for something else but I'm going to go ahead and use it on the collector catalogue. And we're going to turn this up to Connoisseur Catalogue. Um, let's have a look now. So, so increases the odds of obtaining rare items after battle. I don't know if this thing can level up again. Um, I guess it would be worth a Google, perhaps. We were actually in that part of the guide really quickly, so maybe i just actually stay in there. Connoisseur Catalogue. Um, it can actually... Can it become anything else? Let me see here. No, that is at max level. Dismantled into two incentive chips. Okay, that sucks. Okay. Let us, uh, let us get out of here. Now with that on lightning, we should actually be able to uh, go back to the plains and maybe collect some... Maybe do some fights, collect some things. There's cactars in the plains, which would be nice. They drop cactuar dolls. If we get a lot of those, we would get a ton of XP. And we would also be able to... Um, sell those uh, for like 10k each. It's not exactly the most efficient method of doing things, but for the time being, that's one of the only things I can think of. Um, we could also run around... We're going to go back to the steep here. This is what I call the plains for some reason. But we're going to go back here, and we're going to do some quests. We're going to quest a little bit. We're going to run around for cactars. Every time I see a cactar, I will fight one. Now that we have increased odds, I don't know how much the odds increase by, you know, it could be like a 5% drop rate and this makes it a 10% drop rate. It could be like a 10% drop rate upgraded to a 40% drop rate. I don't know how it works. It doesn't actually explain to me exactly how, how much of an improvement this item is, but um, there's a couple of things we could do. So here's our chocobos, we've earned these, which is quite nice. Um, so I'm going to jump on this guy ASAP. Again, we're not looking for XP in this at this part of the game, guys. We're just looking to uh, our our uh, crystallarium for the most part is expanded in terms of our main. Ro oh, that's really good. Okay, so whenever a little exclamation mark appears above our chocobo like this, for those that missed yesterday's stream, this means that there's treasure close by. Um, if we get really lucky here, this could actually just be like a nugget or something. I am um, I totally misunderstood the treasure system in this game. Then maybe when you refresh the area, the the treasure comes back. Because we didn't see any treasure here last time. Oh, go on. Give me a nugget, please. That would actually be a great start. Best case scenario, we get like a some sort of nugget item here. What's this? What you got for me? A tetradic crown. That actually is really good. What the fuck? Um, we can either keep that or sell it. Um, that actually sells for a decent amount of money. I can't show you guys because I'm not in my regular inventory, but... Okay, that was kind of insane. Um, I didn't expect to find treasure so soon, to be honest. Um, which is quite interesting. Oh my god, we've got another one. This is this is great. So the treasure must respawn when you come back to an area. We've also got a cactuar there as well. There must be treasure here somewhere. Where is it? Over here? There. Nice! Really good. Maybe he can just reload. Um, Google, has che <laughs> Google, he's cheated at the game. <laughs> I barely even saw he spent like two hours searching for Peter. Chocobo tail feather, I don't know what that's used for. I hate when items say increase X without saying how much this shouldn't happen in this day and age, yeah. But do you know what's really bizarre, Warring, is that like all of the other items in the game have percentages attached, you know? See if you get an amulet in this game that says resist wind damage. It tells you resist wind damage 30%. In, uh, resist lightning damage, 25%. All of the items do actually have percentages, but for some reason the odds of, you know, the increased odds of, like, finding your items is not increased for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. Let's, um... Not a bad start, though. That's two pieces, two, two treasures found already. That was unexpected. I think that the treasure must respawn, because we came down here before on a chocobo and there was no treasure, so... I'm gonna get off my, my chocobo here. <laughs> I wish I could keep it, um, honestly, I wish it would kind of wait for you, like in Final Fantasy, well, I think in 15 you can summon the Jogobo, actually.
Ollie, what's up? How's things, Ollie? Welcome, welcome. Two subs already today, guys. We've only been on 20 minutes. Ollie, how's things? Welcome back. Nine subs. Nine months. You are an absolute gem. Dragon Ollie, ladies and gentlemen. He now dons the red paw. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep saying that. I keep saying that over and over. It's getting really old. But I can't help it. Ollie, welcome to the stream, man. Warm welcome. Hiya, folks. Hoping you're all okay. Nine months going strong. Hell yeah, dude. Ollie, it's great to have you here, man. Warm, warm welcome. Um, why do people that call a help desk get to be a-holes? Um, normally when people, I don't know, honestly. I've, I've never really bought into that philosophy that when you phone up a help desk, even if you're really annoyed about something, you start going through, you start going through the first person you meet. That's just, uh, in my opinion, when people do that, it's just a lack of intelligence. I don't know. Sometimes being quite formal on the phone, um, or being quite forward can get things done really fast, like you can be put straight through to the most important person which might solve your problem quicker. But for the most part, what people don't understand when they phone helplines is that the person that's your first port of call is just, he's just doing their job, they've got nothing to do with the company or the policies or whatever. It's not them that's throttled your internet, you know? I've, I never do that. Um, yeah, I can get angry sometimes, but like, only that's only if you're on the phone for a long time jumping through like, holes, like loopholes and... Um, like, I don't know, the kind of bureaucracy of call centers and whatnot. But it's going good, Jack. Just picked mud from my boots before. Just picked mud from my boots before work. Says Ollie. That's great, man. All right, we don't get any spoils, uh, which is a bit of a bummer. But that's okay. We'll push on here. I've lost my chocobo, but we'll, uh, we'll we'll move forward here. I don't know what the, I don't know what the drop rate is of this fucking this cactuar item. I really hope that. Uh, We would get it more often than not, but apparently, uh, still quite an awkward drop. The game is really, really foggy in this area, but I was kind of hoping that it would clear up. Maybe the game is foggy because I have a quest active. Is that possible? No. It's getting better now. I know that 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 back end, like the the area that I was just in, is naturally super foggy in this part of the the world. Which is a bit weird, but it's alright. I'm the first point of contact when someone calls the help desk, says Carthor. That sounds painful, man. Yeah, I, I don't get it. I, I, I honestly don't get it. Some people are just like that. It's unfortunate as fuck, but... Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I've never been the guy that phones up and starts ranting as soon as I hear another human's voice on the other end. Because it doesn't really... Sometimes it can actually slow things down. So I'm sorry that's happening to you, Carthor. Um, okay, so there's a bunch of quests here that we could pick up if we wanted to. Um, let's go ahead and have a look at them. I think the green ones are the easiest. These are normally C rank, I think. Yeah. So, that's the Yashjas. Is there any that are actually in this area by any chance? Is there any actually, like, any missions that are actually here in the plains? Um, Valis Media. A lot of these are sending me like really far away and I just wish it wouldn't do that. I wish it would allow you to stay in this realm. Where are you? Rank B. Hmm. I guess I could pick up one of these. It's just a bit of a shame honestly. Yeah, we'll take it. Sure. Alright. Uh, it's foggy because you haven't killed the turtle yet. Oh my. Well, that was new. Mission commenced. I don't think it's foggy because we haven't killed it. Holy fuck, dude. What the hell? Why is it turning? Did you see that? What, what the hell, dude? Alright, where's our star? All the way across there. I guess we just go and do some of these while we're on our travels today. Maybe we find some uh, some shit along the way, I don't know. I'll take the chocobo, and maybe the chocobo will find treasure. And worst case scenario, we'll get a reward for doing the quest and some XP. How about that? I wonder if there's just an unlimited amount of nuggets available. Because if so, we could just run around on the chocobo trying to find treasure and hoping that we get nuggets. Because nuggets are 60k, which is... Um, we only need a couple of those and then we've got our, our target. 
There's a cactus up here that I really want to fight. But I don't want to lose my chocobo. Let's just ignore that for the time being. Don't want to get sidetracked too hard. Plus the cactuars, um, they don't give you an insane amount of money if you get the drop. Okay. Yo, Eric, I'm here. Got you playing this in the background. I am uh, to a one today. Oh no, wait, you've, you're deteriorating, Eric? Eric, I thought you were meant to get better on your days off, man. Why are you, uh, why are you trying to die, Eric? <laughs> Eric, I'm telling you, dude, this is karma, mate. I'm, I'm sorry. I love you so much, my man. But, dude, this is what you get when you, when you go onto my old channels and you troll my, my videos. This is, dude, this is karma coming full circle. I mean, <laughs> what do you want me to say, <laughs> Eric? I'm really sorry. I'm sorry that you're still ill, my dude. But welcome. <laughs> I guess I can't take my chocobo through here. This makes me sad. I really wanted to keep my chocobo. He moves so fast and eloquently. I guess we just have to walk on our little feet. Like a normal peasant. Alright. I really hope we don't have to go too far for this. Do you know what? I should have looked up at I should have looked up in advance. I have ran along this road so many goddamn times. I should have looked up exactly on the mission briefing telling me where to go and then just transported. If I come in here and it's miles away, I'm gonna be so sad. Fuck my life, dude. Oh why though? Got a mission there on the way back out, that's pretty cool. Can we pick that up on the way back? Oh, why? Do you know what I should do? I should buy a bunch of the uh, Deceptisols and run past a lot of these enemies. Although in saying that, there's not a lot of enemies here. Maybe they've uh, been taken away for this mission. Should I just transport? What mission am I doing right now? Toothy Grin. Um, the Yashja's Massive. Can I just transport there? I wonder. Oh god, no, I've not done him. Fuck. Alright, I can't do that. Oops. Um, yeah, and I'm on call. Had to go in for a C-section last night feeling like this. Jesus, really? Are you, are you, like, I guess, like, I understand if a baby's get, being born, it doesn't really, it doesn't really wait for anyone, you know? I, it's just like, okay, I'm ready to be alive now, thanks. So I guess, like, Eric, if you're feeling, like, in a really bad condition, do you just have to go in regardless? Is there no one? Is there no one else to like cover that sh that that role? I I cannot like on one hand I understand you know some jobs you can take a day off and nobody nobody bats an eyelid but some jobs you know you know if you're like the chief fireman and somebody's house is on fire you're kind of you know you have to fucking get your shit together but like is that there are only two uh, circulators at my place they're out of town Jesus holy moly. Well, Eric, that's insane, dude. Um, I hope that the C-section and the surgery went well. Um, and I hope that you're okay. You gotta rest up, my dude. Try and catch as much as, as many minutes as possible. Did you do your crystallarium after clearing the tower, says Sushi? The crystallarium, because I haven't advanced yet, Sushi, I, I can't actually advance the... I should have went down the other end of the tower and advanced the crystallarium. The crystallarium can't actually go any further right now, even though we beat the foul sea. So... I, I was kind of hoping once I beat the foul sea it would just allow me access, but I think I have to go into the next stage of the game. Well, there's a difference between having a day off and being on call, Jack. Yeah, I know, but if you're like, if you're so sick and poorly that you could actually make the surgery, like, potentially, like, potentially jeopardise it, then... I, like, surely that's also factored in as well, you know? Like, if my, like, if I'm about to get fucking heart surgery, and then the surgeon is like... I know it's different, right, because you can schedule heart surgery or whatever, but, like, if the surgeon is fucking feeling a 1 out of 10 that day, he's got shaky hands, he's fucking ill, dude. Like, that's that's the point of view I was working with, right? I know that's not exactly the same as Eric's scenario, and I'm not trying to, like, I'm not trying to call Eric out, but I was trying to understand. Yeah, it did go well. Okay, really good. I'm glad, man. That's the main thing. Well, Eric, uh, with all this being said, I hope that you get better soon, my dude. I don't want you being ill for too long. That would suck. Very true. Oh, right. I thought it might have been a boss reward. Yeah, me too, Sush. Me too. I thought so. Um, 
Okay. I'm just gonna run my fucking ass through that. Dude, I, I swear I probably could have just teleported to this place. Oh no, there we go. It's right there. I could have actually TP'd to this because that... Motherfucker. That, uh, that stone there I think has been done, so... I actually probably could have just got this done. Alright. Hopefully we get some decent rewards for doing this. Probably not if it's a fucking C rank mission, but you never know. There's also the behemoths that are up the back of the map that, that are guarding a chest. I think we can go and fight that. With any luck, there might be money in the chest. Maybe. No dying, uh, no dying egg it because uh, risk spell takes too much mana. Hell yeah. We could spare a we could spare a revive for Eric though. Let me see here. All right, here we go. Yo, Mr. Snowblar and friends, what's up, gang? Well, 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 if isn't the Snowblar and, and co. <laughs> what's up, snobs? Welcome, sir, welcome. How's it going, gang? Howdy, raiders. Randy's here, what's up, Randy? <laughs> welcome back, man, welcome back. House tricks, house tricks, guys. What's new in the hood? Going well, thanks, nice suit, nice suit. What you guys been up to today? You guys doing a long stream, a short stream? In fact, Snowblar, you tweeted out saying that you were you have a family you got a family event tonight, right? I saw that tweet. I remember, I remember. And the game you were playing was Assassin's Creed? Is that right? See I'm asking all these questions out of like I'm in autopilot, but I think I actually know most of the answers. You said that you've got a a nude photo shoot tonight, but you're disguising it as a family event so that nobody finds out or something? You tweeted out something like that? You said you were trying to, you were trying to get ripped for going to Canada to visit Dixie or something. Yeah, only only a short, okay, only a short nude photo shoot. All right, nice. Family event and Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Nice, ooh, nice, ooh. Brilliant. I just got in a fucking trouble with this thing. God damn it, evil ugly plant man. All right, Randy has been trying to get me to speak French, says Snowblart. Wait, is Randy from French? From, uh, from French. Is he from French? Randy, qu'est-ce que ça rien à faire avec le prix de fromage? I, I think I butchered that. I always say that sentence. I'm probably one day I'm gonna get it right, guys. Who a beat too? Je beat on Nikos. <laughs> Je m'appelle Jacques. Bonjour. French with an English accent. Listen, guys, you, you guys can get my French accent if you just want, you just don't want it. Oh no. <laughs> All in there with the immediate French. I'm French, bonjour. Nice, nice, nice. Alright. I like it. Whereabouts in France are you from, Randy? Just out of curiosity. Oh, that guy died really fast, holy shit. I have been to France once, I went to the northwest of France, I went to Brittany. And it was amazing. And I would go back in a heartbeat. I loved it. It was fucking awesome. Do, 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 do. I went to Mont Saint Michel, which is like a big castle in the middle of this like kind of uh, quick sandy ocean area. It's really strange, but really really cool. It's like a massive castle. Uh, I also went to the beach when I was in Brittany. I went to one of the towns, which I can't remember the name of, but I had an aquarium, which was fucking baller. Get your booty to the Airbnb and do quest 55. Oh shit. Wait, is that the... Oh god. Alright, this is our mark. We're here to fight this. Je suis anglais. There you go. I am English. I'm French, bonjour. Bonjour, je suis français. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm sorry. I live in the southeast of France. Oh, Randy, dude. You're living the luxurious life, dude. Randy, how often do you go to the Mediterranean? Wait, is that? Wait. Wait a minute. Did I just make a fool of myself? Uh, is, yeah, thank God. I, th I thought I fucked up, but we're fine. Okay, moving on. Just had to, cl just had to clarify. 
Bonsoir, Randy. I don't know. Bonsoir. Is it really? Is it really evening time? I did GCSE French, but I'm rusty. Mon français est très, 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 très bad. Uh, I only know petit peu uh, au la français. <laughs> I'm laughing at all the mistakes. I'm just there. Uh, right, okay. Uh, let's just stop. Larete. I think that's that means stop in French. Uh, oh, I got some Spanish. That's all right, guys. Together we have we have a, we have a multicultural group here in the Wolfpack. You guys have got a wide. A wide uh, uh, fountain of knowledge. I think we could pull together quite quite well. I had to learn Dutch, English, French, German in school. Pepe Hans says them. <laughs> Did uh, okay. So I got a couple of questions for you. All you talented multilingual motherfuckers, right? When you guys learn a language in the center of Europe, and there's like a couple of languages round about you guys, do any of the languages help you understand any of the other ones? Like, is there like hints of neighboring languages in each other? If that makes sense. Uh, I'm trying to think how to explain this, but does helping you learn one kind of help you understand a bit of like another language? Um, I just wondered if it becomes easier, like if you learn like one or two, would it be easier to learn like, you know, potentially like language three or something like that? I am just a basic bitch, guys. I only know, uh, I only know young English. The tiny minuscule amount of German you guys have been teach teaching me. I know how to say fucking welcome to the stream. And uh, and obviously the French that I learned in high school, but that's it. I'm bad at languages. Can speak about uh, English. That's about three years of French and eighteen years of Welsh. Got me nowhere, says Snowbar. What do you mean eighteen years of when Welsh Snowbar? Do you speak Welsh? Um, not at all, Jack. Learning French does not help me know what my Polish co-workers are talking about. Yeah, could I, I can imagine that, <laughs> you know, Polish and French aren't <laughs> too similar, Ollie. I can imagine, yeah. I feel like as a European, you can understand most languages more or less. You just can't speak them. So, like, when somebody's, yeah, when somebody says something, you can vaguely kind of gauge what, what they're talking about. That's cool. Uh, 5.30 p.m. So, yeah, it's evening, says Randy. All right. Wait, is it five? Is it really that late? Maybe it's 5.30. Bonsoir, indeed. I'm lazy because I have Google Translate with me. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's all right, though. Bit of practice. Picking up bits and bobs here and there. I think here in French is easy. Is that right? Easy or easy? Easy or... Something else. I don't think it would translate. <laughs> exactly. Is that right? Is EC here? EC? My favourite thing to say in French is D'accord. French people say that all the time. They get to the end of a sentence and then they go D'accord. That's my favourite. Uh, we have already done this. Wait, wasn't there a mission close by? Motherfucker, dude. I'm lost. There was a mission I was going to do here. Was it on the way out? Maybe it was on the way out. D'accord. And French people cheat as well. They don't pronounce a lot of their last letters. Except in certain circumstances. You're good, Wolfie, says Randy. No, 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 no. I hate when you guys... Some, sometimes I say some things in French. And you guys are like, oh, you're the best, Jack. Your French is great. But I think you guys are just memeing. I've got, a, I've got a really good friend called French Brian. His name is just Brian. He's not actually called French Brian. But I call him French Brian because he's from France. And he teaches me French. And he's very, very patient. He's a great teacher. And uh, I, join his, I join his Discord sometimes. And his friends are talking in French. And I try and say some things just to try and fit in and be cool, you know. And they just laugh. Sometimes they tell me I'm good. But I, I think they're just being polite. Yeah, I only got I only got a B for French. I don't know how I'd say that. I only. 
Malarusmo means unfortunately. I could start my sentence with that. Only would be like... I don't even know. You would have to use the past tense of Je suis. I don't know. Too hard. You? Cool? You're always cool, Jack, says Sushi. Merci. Bien sûr, Sushi. Bien sûr. The only French I know I learned from the one episode of Dexter's Lab. Well, there you go. <laughs> In the Dexter's Lab. Alright, guys. I could have actually teleported back to this place, but I have no idea what any of these places are called in this part of the game, so... I end up just fucking running along it like an absolute idiot. All oh, right, that yeah, he he can't be cool because he's show. <laughs> you face show. You face show, Ollie. I, I get it. I get it. Ollie, you saying I'm hot? Omelette du fromage. Wait a minute. I feel like we're cheating here. Uh, j'adore le pommes frites. Uh, j'adore les animaux. Sushi, tu, tu es, tu es un grand lapin. There you go, get wrecked. <laughs> I need to figure out how to say get wrecked in French. En français. Fuck. <laughs> Randy, Randy comprehends. Je ne, je ne comprends pas. Je ne parle français. I don't know how to say very well at the end of that sentence. Maybe it would come somewhere else. I like practicing. But I'm kind of restricted to the vocabulary, uh, vocabulary that I know. Which is very, very small. So I can't really string together much more. I know how to say combien, which is how much, so if I went into the shop and I was like, you know, let's say I was in a plane crash and I got marooned in, J in uh, I nearly said Japan, in France, I would be able to, you know, go in and buy some things. Cinq euro. Uh, yep, well, let me take this. Well, of course, Jack, your soul shines through your hair like a passionate fire. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> I'll take it, Ollie, I'll take it. Well, listen, we'll cut the we'll cut the French talk before you guys all go insane, but bienvenue. Bienvenue. Bien. Bienvenue. Bienvenue. Uh, to... Would it be... How would you say to the wolf pack? Would that be to... To le... No, that's you. Oh, oh, le wolf? No. I don't even know what I would say. Yo, naf, eh, nagafen? Salut, je suis français, je ne... <laughs> Salut, I am French, I, I, I understand very well, or my English, I understand English very well. I think that translates. Salut. <laughs> I love it, dude. You guys are great. Naga, that was excellent, excellent français. Je suis épaté. Is it, oh wait, je suis épaté? Would the would the e would the e acute on the end be pronounced in that one, Randy? Je suis apat. Je suis apate. I don't think so, right? Would it be apat? Yo, oh, indeed. Yo, Zarion, what's up? Je veux, uh, je veux que tu comment comment bien les jeux. Uh, I commence. Um, is le, le jeu is game, right? And bien is well or good. Je veux, je veux que tu commence, commence bien le jeu. I, I don't, I don't actually. No, I don't know what that one means. I couldn't even work that out. I couldn't even work that out. Le jeu is the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that much because I used to, I used to say, uh, j'adore le jeu vidéo, which is I love video games. I would say that in my French exam, at my. Uh, my French teacher would look at me in disgust. I think she was looking for me to say, you know, j'adore le volleyball or something. Um, 
J'adore to Ali à la pêche. I don't, I don't know what that means. That, 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 I think that means I'd love to go fishing, but I think I fucked up the sentence. Dude, where's my treasure? Where means, I think to say where you would say O. O U, is that O? Moi, uh, je la fini. Ilia means there is, right? Oh, um, Ilia, one, one, one ans would be one year? Me, I... I don't know what... Mm, I... Fini? Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? Would you like to sleep with me tonight? I know that one. Only thanks to Moulin Rouge, though. Oh, no. <laughs> Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? Voulez-vous jouer la jeu vidéo avec moi? Chat? Voulez-vous danser dans la chambre avec moi? <laughs> this is getting oddly weird. I'm just trying to find my treasure and I've got 10% of brain power dedicated to my French here. Oh, we're getting it, boys. Give me that treasure. Give me it, give me it, give me it. Where is it? Give me it. Here? Nope. Where are you, treasure? Right here. Come on, man. Hey, find it. Nice. Only 10%? That's not even a whole brain cell, Jack. Wow. Uh, le sushi? The sushi? Oh, don't like you again. To a trebium. Can you guys tell me what you guys were saying? Um, moi, me, I, la fini. I don't know what la, la, uh, la fini. Hmm. Well, I, I thought it might be something like I've been studying French for one year, but I think I know je uh, je means I have studied. So I don't know what à la fini means, il y a. J'étudie le français à l'école. Right, what am I doing here? I'm trying to do a quest. Let's go this way. We speak in French. I hate to sound like one of those Americans, but could we speak English because my brain hurts trying to f <laughs> trying to fall uh, trying to follow all the French? Yeah, yeah, we can. We can. Uh, we can uh, stop the French, for sure, but thank you for teaching me, guys. Couché has two senses in French, to sleep and do adult things in bed. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that's kind of the same as English, because you can use I sleep, I'm going for a sleep, or I'm going to sleep with my wife. I mean, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of things going on there. Bonjour, says Andy. Bonjour, Andy. Un an would be one year. Ça va? Ça va bien? Merci. Sleep has the same double meaning in English, yeah. I need treasure. Woo! Andy is Jack's frere. Yes, yeah, Sandra is Jack's brother. That is true. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Snowbar comes in with the, uh, dude, is that, what is that? Is that, is that fucking Welsh, dude? Oh, no, I can't even try it. I'm not even going to try it, Snowbar. Uh, I fini is, I have finished. I've seen you suffer enough. Ah, thank you. So where does the, uh, in that sentence then, where does, what is the Ilya as part of that? I, oh, maybe, maybe Ilya is I ha, no. Dude, why is my fucking frame rate just shot the bed completely here? What the hell? No, it's not, lol. Oh, God. Oh, more treasure. Hell yeah. Give me the goodies, Chocobo. Give me the goodies. Oh, 
no, no, Nemec of the enemies. Oh, we're getting closer. Here? Hell yeah. You see the little patches on the dirt? Hmm. I don't speak French. Let's stick with English. Nice. Oh. Obtained another chocobo plume. Oh, another piece of treasure? What the fuck? Right here. In this patch right here. Holy shit. Give me a nugget. Give me a nugget, Chocobo. I'm looking for a nugget. I need money. Please make it work. And a nugget. Work, work. I speak Chocobo as well. Oh, another fucking... Another one of those. Yeesh. That's actually not that bad. Sells for a lot of money. Um, okay, I think that is our mark there. We gotta kill that thing. He's just a little doggo. Lessons re. Uh, moi, j'ai la fini. Uh, I finished it a year ago. Oh yeah, no, I I was close then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was I, I was kind of I was most of the way there. Because we figured out um, a year ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. That makes me feel good. Au revoir. Bon appétit. Thank you. Oh. Bomba, eh, bomba moi, je vais mo eh, manger, sinon, au revoir, tout le monde, eh, bon... Okay, I, I know what this means. Um, I don't know bomba, but me... Okay, so, Naga says, me, uh, I am going to eat, uh, I'm going out to eat tonight, maybe? Sino? I don't know what Sino means, does that mean out? I'm going out to eat? Um, good night everyone, and have a good stream, Mr. Wolfie. Is that what that said? Tulemont is everyone, and Bon Live must be in good, good, good stream. Good stream, right? Dude, Lika is go, man. We're killing it right now. Aquia, what's up? Welcome. Welcome to the stream, Aquia. How's things? Thank you for using your walk-on that you acquired yesterday. <laughs> Yo, we've got Gajin here as well. Welcome. Wait, Gajin, were you here earlier? I'm getting confused. Hi, hoi. Welcome, welcome. I low-key think all Scottish schools should offer Gaelic lessons. Why does that? Why is that low-key, Sushi? Why is it low-key that you want them to? Quiero que me impregne con tu. Tui hijo, Mr. Buffet, por favor. The only part of that I understood was por favor, which means I think please. Okay, I want to be the very best. I want... Uh, I don't know what the verb to want is in French. I've forgotten. Savoir is to be. I want to be, so it would be the verb savoir, right? Uh, I don't know how you'd say I would. I want... I want, is that future tense? But then etra is to be. So, wait, hold on. Is it etra or is it savoir? No. Is it etra is to be? So it must be something to do with etra. I want to be... Le... The very best means like, le... Le tu... <laughs> le tu bien. <laughs> the all the best. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be the very best. And Jui, oh yes, is it some words? This year, eh? Je serai. Un jour, je serai le meilleur de ceux. Uh, glass buckle. Great. Recently started learning Greek, but I'm not even going to attempt anything yet. I'd probably make a fool of myself, says Gajin. I mean, dude, honestly, getting yourself out there and practicing, you're going to... The thing is, if you're learning a language, guys, at some point, right? Here's my philosophy, right? If you're going to learn a language, at some point, you're going to have to say something in front of someone for the first time, right? If it's a sentence, uh, if, you're, if you're meeting someone, you're going to have to eventually use the words you're learning, right? So why not just fucking, just fucking go balls to the wall and not give a fuck? I honestly think when I see, if I see, let's say there is a, a Polish person comes to Scotland and they're just learning English or whatever, right? 
and they try to speak English, dude, I think that's so, like, commendable, and I will always, like, encourage, you know? You will never kind of call them out and be like, oh, you fucked this up. You can give them pointers, you know, or you say it in the sense like this. This is how you're supposed to say it, or things. But, like, when you see someone trying your own language, don't you always try and encourage? Um, I want to learn Japanese, says Acquia. Oh, my Japanese doesn't exist. I know whatever anime has taught me. Does that count? Sugoi. Okay, uh, I want to go off my chocobo here. Can I go off my chocobo? Uh, hi, Skoshi. Anatawa. Anatawa. America Jin Deska. I just said I was American and I'm not. That was a lie. God damn it. Wakariwa. <laughs> I'm just making a up now. I know how to say dirty by all, does that count? Au revoir, my friends. Say work time pour moi. <laughs> Goodbye, my friends. It is work time for me. <laughs> See you later, Ollie. Take it easy, my dude. Thanks for hanging. Allons encounter la uh, version française du générique Pokémon. Oh no, I don't even know any of that, Randy. Um, something about a French version of Pokémon. I have 11 key channel points and nothing to spend them on. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Oh, Weeb's about to shine, says Eric. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Hon, hon, hon. Uh, we're, we'll get something. We'll get something good with the channel points eventually, guys. Maybe. Maybe I should set a goal for. Uh, maybe we should set a goal for the channel points to turn it off the channel points. You know, when somebody hits like a million, we'll just turn them off. <laughs> oh, I don't. I didn't get my fucking drop again, dude. This sucks. Um. All right. I guess I go back to the. Uh, I guess I do a 1 8 and head back. That's not Japanese, that's Naruto ish. Senpai? LMAO plebs, 105k. <laughs> I'm waiting for that day, Sushi. Still waiting on the 100k, choose a game jack. Wait, I never agreed to that, guys. Guys, listen, I've got, I've got to be clear about something, right? You can't just make up your own channel rewards and then get on to me when I don't fulfill them, okay? I've, n I've never agreed to choose a game 100k. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Jack. Oh my god, Jack. Remember, when I hit 50k, you said you'd buy me a Lamborghini? Fuck's sake. Where is it, dude? I'm waiting. I ain't gonna walk myself to the shops. Chat, please. Hashtag waste your points, 020. I think that was 20, 2020. Wasting. Guys, don't waste your points. Save them up for a rainy day. <laughs> One day we might actually have val valid rewards and all you guys who are burning your points. Making jack snakes. Making highlighted jack snakes. Making black and white squished jack emotes. That would be a waste. Lucked a lot in snob stream, but now I'm here. What's up, mister? Hey, Sketch. What's up, my dude? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, Sketch. You haven't really missed much. Just us trying our best to, uh, to speak French and uh, failing miserably. And calling out Snob on his nude photo shoots. That's pretty much it, yeah. Um, I think... French people used to don't like learning English as French should be good enough. <laughs> I love it, dude. Good old Francais. Uh, right. I'm a... Let me, let me fucking take this bitch on. Probably gonna send me to the other side of the fucking planet. Hello, sir. Does he do this every time? He's such a drama queen, this motherfucker. Fucking graveler ass wannabe. Alright, where are we going? Back down that fucking shithole. Alright, I guess I'm gonna teleport this time. The, uh, the one that we're doing right now is What's Your Brain, which is in the Valis Media. I think we should be able to transport there, hopefully. 
Um, hey, Sketch, says Randy. Yeah, Randy's been teaching us French Sketch. Uh, he's been very polite. Although he did say in French that he was going to beat me if I didn't learn faster. If someone ever asks you to buy them a Lambo, buy them, buy it with their card, that way you bought it, they just paid for it. I mean, that would involve, you know, going into their wallet and robbing them, and then potentially pushing them into a financial situation that they weren't totally prepared for, but I mean, other than that, Sushi, yeah, I might do that to you next time, yeah. So, wait, when you guys are like, play a game I want at 105, 100k, I can just do it on your, wait, Sushi, you're, you're gonna buy the games for the people? Is that what you're, that's what you're suggesting right now, Sushi. So wait, when you guys choose Farming Simulator, or Farmville, or whatever the fuck it's called, Stardew Valley, you guys are gonna buy it for me? Is that what you guys are saying? This is a great deal, I love this. So, uh, so y'all do like, so y'all do think like Americans? Pardon, pardon, miss you. Oh crap, hi, sorry, I don't recognise you. I'm pretty sure you said something about 50k points. You would send me some haggis, says Snowbar. Right, now you're just getting racist, chat. Alright. Now you... Aye. Haggis sounds lewd. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a code word. I can't actually confirm what Snowbar means when he says haggis. But, uh, yes, no, I'm still having it on the way. sat my man. Uh, uh, I guess i go here. Well, they're the one that asked you to buy it. I enjoy the rice and sour sauce pork pieces, says Aquia. I'm enjoying the rice and sour sauce. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Aquia. Have you got enough uh, rice with sour sauce and pork pieces to share, or... Or was that... Maybe that was reference to our Japanese... I think that was part of the Japanese conversation. Damn, at Sushi. What a nice guy. I mean, right? French is weird, says Sketch. Okay, just insulted an entire country there. Okay, excellent. Lots of words get skipped and the R is pronounced like you're hacking up a log. A loogie? <laughs> they roll their R's, don't they? Randy, can you confirm? When I say Randy, do I say Randy? Randy? Yeah. Randy was a fair. I don't know what rendezvous affair means. Does that mean tidy your bedroom or something? Do the things? Anyway, we need to pop to the shop, says Sushi. Anyway, need to pop to the shop. Okay. Uh, bon chance, Sushi. Enjoy your trip to the, uh, to the shop. Ali à la supermarché. <laughs> Sorry. And how do Americans think, asked Carthor. Alright guys, we're gonna get into some sort of weird... We're gonna get into some sort of weird geographical battle that I've not properly prepared for. Can we just take a step back here? Okay, you guys love each other very much and you have always been friends, okay? Not English, a French. It's what I'm eating at the moment, says Aquia. Ah, oh, nice, nice. There we go. In freedom. Pig innard stuff inside pig intestine, says Sushi. Wait, 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 what? We have a choice, says Eric. We can uh, choose Spanish or English in school. I took Spanish. That's pretty exciting. I kind of wish I would learn Spanish. I only know hola. Hola. Hola, senor. No, the R rolling isn't Spanish, says Sketch. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I need Randy's confirmation. The French roll their R's. That's what my French teacher told me all the time. And she was French, so... <laughs> I wasn't going to argue with her. <laughs> she was a scary motherfucker as well, if I'm being completely honest. Us, uh, us, it's French main, English needed them, a choice of Spanish, German or Italian, depending on the school. Ah, I see, I see. We think in red, white and blue. There you go. I like it, dude. Something to do with intestines and stuff. Mr. Snowblart, remind me of what a, um, a Puerto Rico, oh, what Puerto Ricans do with pig innards. Forgot what it's called though. I don't know if I need to know anything about this. If I'm being honest. Wait, hold on. Pig innards? Um, maybe they just um, give them to the other pigs who need them. I, d I don't know. Kind of like a, an organ donor scheme. Rolling your arms is Scottish. Are you drunk, Ryan? Are you sure? 
and then the Spanish pronouncing G more like a profound R. Je n'ai pas envie de, uh, de me prononcer. I do not something my pronunciation. I do not M. Well, I don't know what envy could be. Je ne sais quoi. We Dutch people think about how to beat the water. <laughs> pa pardon? Aqua, is that a metaphor? Don't you have uh, don't you have dams for that? Dams and windmills? That was a joke. I remember, I've told you guys about the time Casper went to to the Netherlands in his episode of Casper the Friendly Ghost. And there was actually a hole in the dike and they had to the little girl had to plug it with her finger until Casper got help. That's not a euphemism in any way, shape or form, that's actually what happened. We have. Dams, dikes and the delt works, yeah. Well, we need to keep improving. Yes, used heavily here. Je n'ai pas envie de me prononcer. I don't want to talk. Too simplement. Alright. Uranite picked up. What the fuck was that? Did you, did you, did you guys hear that? What, what the fuck was that scream, dude? I clicked accept on the menu and all I heard in the background was and then it just vanished. What the fuck was that? Sounds like some sort of dinosaur just had like a fucking aneurysm or something. What the fuck? <laughs> what, what the hell was that? That was bizarre. Alright, I always get hit by this motherfucker, but not today. <laughs> Comment c'est dit ass in, in français? Right, okay, I see ass in that sentence in French. I think it would also be en français, but never mind. Velociraptor, yeah, dude. Right, okay, how do I outplay you? You fucking... Oh, jukes, 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 please. Oh. If you party with crooks, you gotta learn to respect the dukes, my slimy friends. Alright, respect the dukes, respect the dukes. God damn, he's too fat. Oh, too, too gross. Right, okay. Spin to win. Did, uh, Snowblar, if you're still here, are any, are any of you guys the dudes that I played the, uh, the Aram with on Snowblar's 24 hour stream? Are any of you guys... Part of the, the League of Legends squad or not? Nah? I said, how do you say ass in French? <laughs> I don't know. Derriere, I think. Derriere is, is your bottom, correct? I see you, baby. Shaking that ass. I keep forgetting Lightning's real name, says Aquia. I think it's Bob. She has a very nice name, but I forgot. Yeah, it's definitely Bob, yeah. Light Bob. That's what our friends call her. Claire, says Gajin. Is it actually Claire? Is that a secret? Should we not know that yet? Is that a spoiler? My Spanish is old and unused enough uh, that I won't pronounce myself on it. You're all right. Zarian, how do I pronounce your name? Just out of curiosity, because you've, you've got a U in there, like Zoo. Is it Zoo Arian? Maybe I should just call you Zoo. But then that makes me think that you're a... Uh, you know, some sort of cluster of animals. I don't I don't know if that's necessarily what you want. Ah yeah, clear it is. That forgettable. No, uh not no they are not, says Snowler. Okay, gotcha. I thought I might know some of these house cats, but uh alas. Do we want to do any more fucking quests here guys? Or should we just go on? Yes, Seria. That's the way that's a better way to say it. Seria. Yeah, it's official. Nice. Deria. <clears throat> mm -hmm. You will have a cutscene in Airbot you, where you learn it, says Gajin. Ah, okay. Gotcha. I don't know uh, much, but how to conjure, uh, how to conjugate verbs and in individual words, so that helps a little. I have to talk to the Spanish speakers at work because no one else knows any. Oh, there you go, Eric. It came in handy after all this time. I like it. Eh... Uh... Can I not transport from this? Because I haven't done it. Oh, fuck. Um, Valus Media. Where the fuck is that? 
back the way. Oh, it's actually just, it's really close. Well, nothing in this area is very close, but we'll do, we'll do this quest. You'll have a cutscene. The way you say it is what I thought for the pronunciation. Um, so can you help me out then? How do you, how would you pronounce your own name? Like Zoo? Zoo Aryan? Or would it just be Zarian? I, I'm just gonna call you Zoo. If that's okay. Like XU. I think that's pronounced Zoo, right? Sketch says, My Spanish is so Puerto Rican that I speed run L's and R's in a sentence mixed with African and Taino terminologies with a bit of Spanish to top it off. I mean, Sketch, that sounds pretty, uh, sounds pretty magnificent. I'll give you that much. I wish I could speak multiple languages, guys, but I'm just a dunce. I'm just a simple guy. I only know the uh, the language of my own turf, which, you know, is borderline English. Uh, English. <laughs> There's evidence. I know English and Scottish. Definitely not the same thing. Need to add learn new languages to your stream. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. I can't even English. <laughs> hey guys, English is hard. English. One star. Oh, the dream. The one star dream. English. Yeah, exactly, dude. Who even needs it anyway? Through the middle. Nice. I'm uh, just too happy to grow with French and having to learn English afterwards, uh, way less particular cases and exceptions. Oh my god. See, the thing about... Um, I'm just happy to grow with French and having to learn English afterwards, way less particular. I mean, English is kind of weird because you have English but then you have multiple different, like... People can all speak the same, like, English but then, obviously, certain people have, like, um, like their own versions of English, if that makes sense. There's obviously, like, tones and accents and then, you know, Scottish people technically speak English but if you were to come to Scotland and not understand a word of what anybody says, I wouldn't be surprised. I think uh, English is supposed to be quite awkward. A lot of other languages seem to be quite straightforward. We don't have like, um, we don't have like masculine and feminine terms for things, I don't think though. You know? Uh, you know how like certain objects in French have like a la or a le or an un or an un sound? We don't have that. It is. My English isn't the best in my opinion, says Aqua. Aqua, you, you, but Aqua, I've never ever, like, I've never, like, read any of your stuff and thought, like, you're not a native. I know you're not native to English because you're from the Netherlands, right? But, like, I've always read your sentences and known exactly what you mean. So, your English is pretty spot on, I think. I learn a Celtic language spoken in Brittany, but I can only say canavo to say au, au revoir, adios. Yep, Breton. Jesus. Pronounced Jesus? <laughs> I went to some... I was in a, like, a little... It wasn't a theme park in Florida, but I met a guy who served me ice cream and he had Jesus as his name, but I'm pretty sure it was Jesus. I know nothing of this game other than uh, Namira really liked lightning, the music's cool and the start takes long enough that people are divided and loving the game and hating it's a sketch. I mean, to be fair, that is a pretty, um, that's a pretty fair assessment sketch. I, I felt like that when I was younger, although I've said this over the, the whole of the past week, I'm, I'm enjoying playing through the game now than I did when I first started playing it when I was younger. It's actually been really, really pleasant to, to hang out with you guys, but the game does have quite a kind of... It's kind of weird, like, this Final Fantasy divides all of your characters in the beginning, and so you play with, like, two characters at a time, and two characters at a time, or one character at a time, and then eventually you start to unlock all of your characters together, so... 
I mean, you don't really get access to your entire party until like chapter like eight or nine or some shit, which is really kind of weird. Um, and that's when you actually get to kind of start doing side quests and things like that as well, once you get to chapter 11. Now, there's only 13 chapters in the game, but it's a bit, uh, it is a bit weird, the kind of choice of how they decided to make things. But yeah, quite strange. <clears throat> this guy is a huge fatty. Oof. I'm technically Bre uh, Breton, but I've never spoken a word of it in my life. Wait, if you're if you're Breton, does that mean you have like magic abilities thro flown through you? Like you're kind of like you look human, but you can do some magic. You got like a shield and spell and <clears throat> shit like that. I always play Bretons when I play Oblivion. Thanks, Zakria. No problem. <clears throat> it's just the truth. Like I don't think anybody in our chat. Of English speakers has ever like been confused as to what you're talking about, Aquia. So I would say your English is great. You ain't gonna believe this shit. Go get a buggy. We gotta go. Uh, we gotta get for greens to have with the whole cakes. Typical Southern English. Does it have different jobs, or is it like each character has their own move sets? I sketch. Good question. I'll show you. So basically, in this game, once the game opens up, you can start to build your characters however you want. But similarly to other games, you kind of want to try and follow the kind of base levels or the base kind of uh, roles that each kind of character has laid out for them already. So um, you have what's called paradigms, which you can shift between and it makes your it makes your characters perform a different role. OK, so lightning here. Lightning starts off as a commando, which is like your heavy hitter. <clears throat> a Ravager, who is someone who helps build the Stagger Bar, that's a unique mechanic to this game. And she's also a Medic, which is basically a healer. You've got people like Saz, who start off as a Synergist, he gives buffs to the team. He is also a Ravager, so again, he like tries to get the Stagger Bar mechanic up. And then again, his buffs with Synergy. Saboteur is debuffs, so it's exactly the same as synergy, Synergist, but like inverted. So instead of buffing the team, he debuffs the enemy. Things like that. And uh, lastly, the last kind of role that you get are these two characters here, which is Sentinel, which is your tank. So when you go into Sentinel mode, you basically just uh, you just provoke all the damage and then you tank it up. So Snow is a Sentinel, for example, uh, which is quite cool. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You um you don't have to uh, you don't have to use like certain characters in in certain ways, but it makes sense to because you get good value for like your XP and whatnot. So I wish you could use summons in this uh, in this Final Fantasy. You do have summons in this one, Carthor. It's just a bit weird, isn't it? Because obviously you've got your Eidolons, which are meant to be the equivalent to your summons. You've got Odin and all the other fucking usual ragtag guys. But I don't know if I like the summons in this game very much. I've been told that the reason I, I'm not very good with them is because I'm not using them correctly, but they seem a bit underwhelming in terms of damage. Like I can do regular attacks in a fight and hit for like you know, like 6, 7k with lightning, and then I'll, I'll bring up my Eidolon, he'll do his limit break, and it'll hit for like 3k, and I'm just like... The Eidolons are good for like healing, but I, I don't know if I'm... I don't know if I like them very much, to be honest. Let's go back to the, uh, the steep here. <clears throat> I like Final Fantasy 13 Lightning Returns, is that well? Yeah, a lot of people do. A lot of people like Lightning Returns. People spoke very highly of it. I think it took what the what Final Fantasy XIII did and tried to improve it a little bit. The only time I like less is uh, is that it's kind of has a. The only time I like less, or the only thing I like less about it, is that it has a, a kind of time on it. Um, I think. Do you know what? I don't exactly know what you mean, Aqua, because I've never played the game. But something is ringing a bell about like timers in that game. You do, you do have like pressure on you, don't you, when you're doing certain areas in thirteen? There is like a weird timer system, isn't there? It's funny to uh, use Spellbreaker Shield when a dragon spit fire on me. I'm waiting for the dragon to finish so I can throw fireballs at it. Is that uh, is that Sky is that Skyrim talk, or is that just everyday life act where you just fighting dragons on the fly? Okay, I'm not going that way. Where is this fucking treasure, mate? <clears throat> Over here? Right at this patch, right here. There we go. When suddenly, Skyrim. 
from Skyrim, yeah. 13 days until the world ends. <clears throat> I don't remember using them much except in specific cases. Yeah, it says, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm the same. I only use... I feel like I only use the summons in this game unless, like, when I'm in trouble. You know, it's like a get out of jail free card. You just summon Odin, he revives your team. And he gets a bit of damage off as well. Maybe he, like, heals lightning or some shit. I don't know. What was the plot about? Um, last I heard of this, everyone has a tattoo or something. Um, and something bad happened. Also, chocobos. Hell yeah. This is, the, this is my favourite part of the game. So, basically what happens is there are... In, this, in the setting of Final Fantasy XIII, you start off on a place called Cocoon, which you guys can see in the distance. You see that floating ball in the sky? It looks like the moon. It's right above my head. Uh, here. See, see that, motherfucker? That's where you start, okay? So you start on Cocoon, and there's this kind of elitist kind of um, mentality going on with the citizens of Cocoon, where the people from Pulse, which is what we're on just now, this place here, it's like full of monsters and stuff. The people have been raised by deities called Foul Sea. And they have been told that basically Pulse is just a land of hell and, and evil and monsters. I mean, we look around here, there is a big monsters here, but it's definitely not hell, right? So basically the Foul Sea, these ginormous kind of godlike, kind of, they're not godlike, but they're like, they're higher beings than, than humans, right? They're like a tier, a, a few tiers above humans, right? And basically the, uh, the Foul Sea create Lissy, who, that's when the little tattoos appear on certain humans. They give them roles to complete. Uh, they they kind of use them like slaves or like pets to fulfill their agendas. And the reason the Falci are trying to use the humans as slaves is because they want the real god who made everything to come back. So it's all about trying to reawaken god basically. And the Falci are using our heroes to try and reawaken the god by like blowing up Cocoon which is that flying moon. It's really quite convoluted in my opinion and it's a, a bit awkward. But um, I'm trying my best to kind of keep up with it. The chat does a really good job of like keeping me in the loop. I want to find that treasure, whatever it was. I think it's back over here. Is it down here? Hell yeah. No, it's not. What the fuck? This way? Oh, well, where is my treasure? Is it back here? Get away from me. Get fucking away from me, you mad fuck. I think it's over here. Is it over here? Dude, what the fuck? Uh, is it up the way? It's not on this side, it's in this direction. Is it up here? Nope. Right here? What the hell? Fuck off. This makes no sense. Maybe it's around the corner. How can that be? What the fuck? So over here? So it's on the side of the hill? Dude, this is pissing me off. What the fuck? It disappears when I go over here. Is it up this bit? And it's not down the path. What? Hmm. Kind's not a uh, fan of Chocobo's design. Looks too realistic in my opinion. I'm shiny hunting soul rock and Pokemon White, and I'll no longer go outside to play Smash Bros with friends. I don't know where the fuck I'm going, man. This treasure can suck a cock. It's like between these monsters somewhere, but like I don't know where. These guys are trying to kill me, which puts me under a lot of pressure here. This makes no sense. It should be here.
I don't know if that's just like bug night or something. Fuck off, bitch. Hmm. I'm gonna, uh... I'm gonna back to help the colleagues of Mages in Winterhold. Bye-bye. Alright, Agra. Take it easy. Thanks for hanging. Uh, okay, there's two behemoths I want to fight in this this map here somewhere. This fucking treasure in the care is pissing me off. Oh, I never got this box. A golden nugget, that's awesome. Jump. Oh, wait a minute. Did I miss that? Is it back here? Nice. Well, we're getting closer to our money, which is great. Go on, give me another nugget. That would be excellent. Please. I'll take another nugget. Nugget of road. Okay. Wait, is that what I need? Mm, wait, is that the item I actually need? I've been saving up money to buy the item, but I think I just might have found it. Dude, I'm confused. What the fuck? <laughs> oh! Woo! Right, where are the two behemoths? I think they're down here in the corner. I'm gonna go and fight them and then get the item that they're guarding. This is a quest I can take as well, actually. What level are you? Level C? Central Expanse, yeah, I'll take that. Hell yeah. Same here, the ones uh, from 15 are realistic but look better than this. I prefer the old design. Oh, fuck, I did not pay attention to where I was driving. Whew! That was, uh, scary. Sorry about that, guys. I read the chat for two seconds and almost killed myself. There's a lot of fucking behemoths here. Right. I am going to try this fight, um, hopefully it works. Right. Wish me luck, guys. This could be an absolute arsehole, or it could be more than fine, I am not entirely sure. We're going to give it our best shot anyway. I don't know if I can get past them and actually try and sneak attack these boys. Can I just get this for free? Uh oh. Alright. Honestly, I love it when Final Fantasy allows itself to be more sillier or cartoony with its designs like in Final Fantasy IX. Thanks. You guys have been speaking very highly of Final Fantasy IX recently. Behemoth King. Wait, have I fought? Yeah, I've fought one of these before. So... Um, I think the Chocobo designs for this game are a bit strange. They've made them a little- they make the Chocobos look a lot more older and wiser. And I'm not entirely sure if I like that myself, but... It is a bit- it is a bit weird. Okay, I am gonna try and stagger this Behemoth King and then kill it ASAP. If this thing evolves, we are up the creek without a paddle and we will die. Okay, I need to try and get it before it changes. Can we actually evolve it before? Okay, Hurl on Hope's really bad. Hurl on Lightning's really bad as well. I think he's gonna transform here, I don't think I can get him. Just let me focus for a second. I'm a dude, he's a dude, she's a dude, we're all dudes. Hey, anybody? <laughs> Sorry, Eric. Please. He's gonna transform. No, dude, why? Just fucking knock his ass up to Timbuktu, please. Wow, dude, I hate my life. Looks like we're gonna have to do this twice.
Okay, let's go. Knock his ass up, go. We gotta kill this guy really quickly. Before lightning dies. Okay, nice. We got some heals here. Alright, we're good now. I'm gonna use Saboteur for a second, I'm gonna try and debuff this thing. Go on, Saz, don't let me down. Harl comes through on lightning. Can we deprotect them, please? Are you immune to deprotect? No. Come on, Saz, don't let me down, you fucking monkey. Saz. Buddy! Deprotect his ass! Thank you. Alright. Welcome to Good Burger, home of, of the Good Burger. Did I miss something important in the chat? May I take your order? I was beginning to think I had become too old for the chat. There you go. I think Carthor got your uh, your reference. Feels good, man. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying not to get fucking slaughtered by this thing. If he hits me with a big attack now, he could actually kill me. So I'm going to just go on a medic mode for a second and get a heal. Thundara's fine. Don't you dare kill lightning. Don't you fucking... I know you're thinking about it, don't fucking do it. This guy potentially can one-shot me if I'm not careful. There we go. That's right, attack the other guys, that's fine. Uh oh. This guy's actually just dead, fuck it. Alright, that was a bit of a slugfest. I don't think we did that efficiently at all, but that was fine. 8,000 points, and we get a gargantuan claw. Nice. For our troubles, we also get two platinum bangles. I'm pretty sure we're on a diamond bangles at this point, but that's fine, we can sell those. I just need to get out of this area now and get back to the other side of the map. There's a feathered round to my right though, so we can grab a chocobo. Mm -mm. Or two Americans, says Eric. I think the movie is on Netflix. Hey, Leaf, what's up? Hey, how are things going? Yeah, really good, Leaf. Welcome, welcome. Going not too bad. You know the drill. We chilling, we grinding. Getting OP. In fact, we've been OP for quite some time, actually. But not OP enough to fight this big motherfucker. Maybe soon, though. Maybe soon. It was from Nickelodeon's show called All That. It was so popular it became a movie. I've never... Wait, All That? Who was in it? Do, do I know any of the... Maybe I know some of the people. All That. Anyone miss Are You Afraid of the Dark? Oh yeah, I remember Are You Afraid of the Dark. I remember Are You Afraid of the Dark and I remember Goosebumps as well. Goosebumps was actually fucking terrifying for me when I was younger. That was so scary. What were you referencing with all the dudes, says Sketch? Yes! Also, I'm gonna mop my room in a bit, says Sketch. Alright, no problem, Sketch. <laughs> Who loves orange soda? Kale loves orange soda. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I remember Keenan and Kale. Don't worry, I got, I got some of these reference, guys. God bless. Is it true? There you go. Kel loves orange soda. Does anybody remember Hey Arnold? Hey Arnold! All these kind of like... All these kind of kid shows that I watched when, when I was younger were kind of weird, like... <laughs> Courage the Cowardly Dog was also pretty trippy for like being shown to like young kids. It had some spooky ass episodes. I remember the one where he thought he was gonna get put in the burger. You know when they go to the diner and the guy's like putting like humans in his burgers? That's kind of fucked up. <laughs> but I loved it. <sighs> yeah, I was kind of obsessed with Courage the Cowardly Dog. Where's my fucking treasure, dude? Is it up high? Here? Ok, 
Okay, it's slowing down here, so we're getting colder. It has to be over here somewhere. There. Go on, Mr. Chuckable. Find me some goodies, bruh. Drop of Julie again. Dawn of Julie. I don't really know what that's for. Probably some sort of upgradable. Maybe I can sell it, I don't know. Welcome to Bo Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. May I take your order? We had that reference like, <laughs> like maybe like 20 seconds ago, Ryan. You would have been right in there with that one. Yeah. <laughs> You're just a little bit late, Ryan. Just a little bit. Oh, fuck. It came on right before Rugrats is Eric. Yeah, courage is nightmare fuel. All right, let me down, let me off my chocobo. My main memory is the one where the guy shaves courage naughty. There was so many ones. Remember when, um, remember, I remember the episode where Muriel got abducted by the eggplant. Remember the, the remember the eggplant episode, guys? Or the one where they go on vacation and they go to like the, the land of cats or some shit. There was like the king of cats or something it's called. I can't remember. That one was spooky. Hi, I'm Muriel. I'm only three and a half years old. Who are you? I just rejoined the chat. Oh no, Ryan. There was that reference was getting was getting thrown about a, t a second ago and everybody was getting upset because no one got it, but you would have been right in there. The one where she becomes a baby and wants mac and cheese. Yeah, dude, that's... <laughs> that's the one, Eric. Hi, I'm Muriel. I'm only three and a half years old. Who are you? Alright, brilliant. I think we can leave here now, I think. I think I'm happy to leave. I gotta make my way down to the teleporter um, through these guys. More cheese! More cheese! <laughs> More cheese! I do remember that. Holy fuck, dude. Oh, man. Courage, the cowardly dog! Booga, booga, booga. Stupid dog, you make me look bad. I love it, man. I love it. Okay, let's see if all of our endeavours paid off a little bit. See how much money we've got now. We're going to access this bad boy. I'm going to go to the shop and I'm going to sell. I'm going to sell, sell, sell. Uh, okay, don't want to sell any of this. I want to go into components. Golden nugget. Boom. I think this is... Is this what... Oh no, it's not what lightning needed. I don't think... Um, maybe I can sell some accessories. We got a lot of platinum bangles. 24 H. Oh, do I want to keep these or nah? They sell for a lot of money. I'm going to sell one. Uh, which means I don't need my silver bangles anymore. What else could I get rid of here? I have so many rune bracelets, but I never know when these are going to come in handy or not. Three ember rings is quite important. Filming rings, spark ring, act, equa riptide, gale clay, ton of metal armbands. Sell one of these. Rainbow anklet. Sense amulet, bless, frostbane, spark brooch. Hmm. I've got a tiara. Cast Protect Shell Veil and vi uh, Vigilance at the start of battle. That's actually insane. The tiara. What a fucking item that is. Holy crap. Seems really, really good. Speed Sash. Restores a smell. And no, I think I'm going to get rid of you. That one's actually okay. I'll keep that. Ice Charm. Water Charm. Um, another tiara. Uh, 
and tight ring what is that increases all element elemental resistances all right we're up to 214 uh which is close um if i go into the r d depot Dark Matter is available to buy. Adamantite is what we need to buy. Uh, this upgrades Saz's weapon, but it's so expensive. I think I can save up for this. I only need a tiny bit more. Um, can I sell just a couple more things here, maybe? Could sell another Platinum Bangle. Yeah. Alright, now I can buy it. Now I can upgrade. Cool, cool, cool. Baby Muriel is a good representation of the Soul Ice fandom not knowing what they want with a Sonic game. Oh, the Sonic fandom, not the Soul Ice fandom. I uh, I was talking to my mates about Sonic recently, guys. Have we got a lot of Sonic fans here? Are you talking about the movie or the game sketch? Oh, you said Sonic game. You said you're talking about games. I got you. Axis Blade. I think it's time to upgrade you, my friend. Let's go. E, uh, Enkindler, level 13. Gives me a little bit less strength, but we get attack uh, charge gauge 2. Which is really, really good. Um, okay, nice. Big upgrade there for Lightning. She's actually very close to getting a level for free. Uh, I wonder if I can just tip her over with 400 points here. Uh, analog circuit, no. Bomb ashes. Moogle puppet. Why are these can be sold for a premium? Wait, what? Um, I should have noticed that before now. Sell components. Moogle puppet. Oh yeah, it does. It sells for 18k. What the fuck? How did I not realise I had that? There's also been like chockable plumes. What did they do? Chockable plume. A lovely golden chocolate feather. I don't know what these are used for. Maybe they give you like straight to maybe they give you like straight three times XP or something. Does anybody know? I really like Foster's as well. Cheese was amazing. I like chocolate milks is Eric. You would get on really well with Nye, Eric. You've you, have you ever seen Nye in the chat before, Eric? Nye's forever talking about chalky milks. Um Which is quite funny. It's becoming a bit of a meme actually. Sold for a premium. Oh, I could sell this too. Just 36 grand. Alright. Nice. Um, Sonic Attack 2B is easily my favourite Sonic game. I only played like the, the classic kind of Sonic games and the one with the killer wheel. I always bring that up. Sorry. Uh, e Kindler. I think I want to try and upgrade you a little bit, if possible. Can I just give you, like, one of these to just buff you a little bit? Is this a waste? I feel like that might be a waste. If I give you 4, 7, 32, yep. Yeah. We got 3 strength and 3 magic. To level 14. Interesting. I think this this weapon can actually upgrade again, but I don't know what it becomes. Should I put some stuff into this? We could potentially consider it, just in case we already have it. Let's put 10 ancient bones in. There's times two, that's not bad at all. Um, I'll put a sinister fang in. Abominable wing. Molted tail. Monstrous Fang, Shattered Bone, come on man, Chipped Fang, there we go, okay, Superconductors I can buy for 10k, oh wait, that's only giving me 800, these last items must be really expensive, to upgrade, holy shit. Haruko accelerators are obviously insane. Do we want to just put three of these in for 28k? 
That would take me up quite a bit. But I should probably keep these until I can do it in one lump sum, right? Can I buy those? Can I buy particle accelerators from the shop? Probably in here, right? I can. Okay, nice. I tell you what, right? Let's buy like three of these. Wait a minute, we might be able to do something funky here. Upgrade. Um, forgive me chat, sorry. E Kindler. So, we can go up 57 grand here. If it's 7 and I have 6 levels left, roughly. 6 times 7 is 42. So yeah, about 57. Do we just go all in here? I think we do. Oof, level 21. We didn't max out, which is unfortunate. But we must be close. Big buffs there for lightning. Big, big buffs. I used all of my important items though. I don't know what e-kindler goes up to. I don't know where it caps out. I should probably try and upgrade Saz's weapons a little bit as well. Just because I can. I don't really have a lot of items though. To give him more stuff. It's just because he hits every fight. Let's, uh, let's buy some things. Shop. Unicorn map. No, I want to go to Creature Comforts. That was Sonic Adventure. What is a kinsect? Asks uh, Eric to Sushi. With all the characters being play playable in Sonic Heroes or Sonic Adventure 1, they're an insect mini you have in Monster Hunter. Sonic Mania was pretty good as well. Um, I played Sonic Heroes. I actually have a lot of Sonic games on Steam, guys. Um, I've got like Sonic Generations. I, I think that has a lot of them on it. Which is kind of cool. Let's put... I don't know if I'm doing this efficiently or not. Let's put like 40 iron shields into this. No, not the shop. I want to upgrade, please. Alright. Where are you? Where are you now that I need you? Oh, they're dead in the bomb. Oops. Alright. In we go. There's the times three. That's good. Superconductors. Gives me 4k. It's not enough. Four times... So if I'd say like four times six to get to level 20. It's about 24k XP. So I think if I buy three of those special items we'll be good to go. I'm going to spend a lot of my money here, guys. Don't judge me. Lenora Garage. No, I don't even want to be in here. I want the R&D Depot. Particle Accelerators. I want to buy three of these. That's a very expensive pickup. I don't even know if this is worth it, but I think it is. Shop. Upgrade. Upgrade. And weapons. Um, particle accelerator. So again, like, yeah, if, it, if it's roughly four, four sixes or twenty-four. Um, so like this, two of these. Oh, well, one one level short. Fuck. Oh no, but we're only a little bit short. That's okay. I can put maybe not superconductors, but four hundred with a turbo jet. And two transformers takes us in. All right, maxed out with Saz. Cool. Unfortunately, I can't actually upgrade Saz's weapon because I need a specific item, which is Dark Matter. Dark Matter is ex very expensive, so I can't actually uh, upgrade that just now, but for the most part, everything's good to go. The only thing I would maybe want to max out now is perhaps like Hope's uh, accessory, which is the Shaman's Mark, right? Sorcerer's Mark. I would maybe want to upgrade this a little bit more, but I don't know if I can afford to do so. This would make all my heals better. Um, let's put like five gummy oil in there. What does fluffy wool do? Do I want to spend the fluffy wool? I don't know if that's important or not. Fractured horn. Uh, 
bomb stock. Well, that's actually quite good. Hellish Talon. Alright. So this would give 14k XP. Probably takes it way up. If this thing goes up to level 20-ish. Maybe like another one of these. I'm spending money like a motherfucker here, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I see we just go all in, actually. Fuck it. I just spent all of my money that I've saved up, but I think it's worth. Upgrade. I could continue to level Lightning's weapon, but I think it's better to put it into Hope here. That's 40. So, I don't know what this goes up to, the Sorcerer's Mark. Does it only go up to level 10? Maybe it only goes up to level 10. In which case, I don't need this much. But, I'm just going to Google it to make sure. Forgive me, guys. I know I've been distant right now. I'm just trying to focus. Sorcerer's Mark. That's the one. What do you go up to? Where do you max out? Level 10. Oh, it only goes up to level 10, yeah. Okay, so we're on level 6 right now. So level 7 is 4. Plus 5 is 9. 15... 21, 28, so I need about 30k XP, roughly. Um, so I don't need... Wait, no. Hold on, if I click on the game, is that... Okay, thank God. Like this? 28, maybe? Alright. Maxed out, good. Really, really good. That was a lot of resources burned there, sorry. I posted her to this good an absolute beaut. Uh, don't know what others look like to judge, but on her own, she is a beauty, says Eric. 10 out of 10 would smash. Wait, what you guys, you guys aren't talking about? Let me Google this. Uh, is this in the, is this in the Discord? Wow. That looks like a leaf. What the hell? Absolutely perfect. I don't know what to say, guys. Lovely. I did it, yo! Uh, Lego Lord of the Rings. Oh, Lego Lord of the Rings 100%. Nice one. Wait, is that... Wait, the online one? It's Jesse? Wait, what? Would you mean like you got all the achievements? You can also have an ethereal dragon head as part of the Final Fantasy Dragoon set. Whoop, nice suit. You can get Gale Bog in the game too. Save scumboy. Hey Jack, how are you doing, Ash Riley? I'm doing wonderful, Riley. How are you doing, Riley? How's the Saturday going? How was breakfast? Alright, let's save here. We are doing really good now. We just got some big, big, big upgrades. I don't think we're strong enough to be able to fight the uh, the Diplodocus looking motherfucker yet, but let's go to the tower. We're gonna go to the tower, we're gonna go to the top, we're gonna advance the plot, we're gonna get some Crystallarium XPs, and then... <laughs> We're going to try and do some extra fights, okay? No, the Lego one, says Jesse. Oh, plenty of stuff to do in Lord of the Rings Online. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was When you said you completed 100%, I was like... But still, the Lego games have a lot of content in them as well, if I'm being honest. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I thought you said let... I thought you said let's go, not Lego. Classic Jack now reading the chat. Maybe I'm just doing it to trip you guys up. Or maybe I'm actually just blind. Mr. Wolfie, you played Ark. Ark Survive online? Is that what you guys are Yeah. Um I have not played it, but I've watched the uh, I've watched some people play it. If that makes sense. Fourth time playthrough of Lego Lord of the Rings, not bad. Holy shit. You must really enjoy that, Jesse. <laughs> some of the some of the Lego games can be quite addictive. You know when you go back and collect all the stuff that you've missed when you get like extra characters and stuff? I can get behind that. I wonder if it's better to just like fucking go ham with two commandos in this guy, or if I should just stagger him, I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, now when we when Lightning fights her full combo, like when she uses all her ATB, she actually gets two bars back right at the start. So she should be hitting really fast. Ark is lame AF unless you have people to play it with, says Sushi. Um, I could kind of see that. It's not a game I would play by myself, to be honest, but then I don't often play online games by myself anyway, so maybe that's not a reflection of the game, that's a reflection of me. But I think it's definitely the type of game you would want to play with other people, for sure. Jack breakfast was good, my parents got their green chilli skillet and I had some pancakes. Nice one, Riley. Nice, that sounds awesome, I did. Riley, when's the next wrestling thing that you're going to? You're always going to wrestling events, Riley. When, when are you guys going to the next wrestling event? You got anything planned or nah? Let's just go double command and see if this guy dies fast. Lightning's got our boss. No, fuck that dude. Triple Ravage, let's go. You said a dino and it made me think of uh, Ark. I have, uh, but have no friends to play it with being a console pleb. I think um, when Ark came out, it was one of these random ass games that like, you know, a developer had made and it just took on really quickly and made that developer probably an absolute shed load of money. But they've done a lot of, like, when, when Ark first came out, right, I thought it was like some sort of survival, you know, build a base in a world of dinosaurs simulator with your friends, right? But then when they advertise it online, I see like all this mad shit going on where it's like, it's totally evolved into something that I didn't expect. I thought you started with spears and had to build like wooden huts. But every time I see it advertised, it's like people running about with like spaceships and laser guns and everything. And I'm like, what the fuck am I? Like, I totally misunderstood what the game was supposed to be. I don't know if that's like mods for it or something. I, I, I just so confused about what it's supposed to be. Joined the master race this Christmas, says Eric. Nice suit. I'm uh, I'm not really bothered about the whole PC master race thing, guys. We play a lot of games on console because it's super convenient. You know, the console does all the streaming work, like the the power, I guess. And then I stream via the PC. But we do play. I mean, we're playing this on right now on PC, but with a console controller. So I don't know. Right, let's go to the top of the. We're going up. Good game worthy laptops are so expensive, says Sushi. You get there eventually. Ah, uh, Ark Survival Evolved. You do start with sticks and stones. I see, I see. Well, I don't know. Maybe I need to maybe I need to watch some like videos on YouTube about Ark. I, I do have friends that have played it and tried it. Looks kinda fun. Um okay, I think is there a save? There is a save machine here, right? All the way across the other fucking side, goddammit. Right, we're gonna advance our game right now, guys. There's probably gonna be a cutscene. And I'm hoping that when we land on the other side of the cutscene, we will actually be able to spend some of our XP, because we are sitting on a lot of XP right now. And it's stats that we could be utilising. Good news is we did actually get lightning upgraded, which is fantastic, so she should be hitting very, very quickly now. I don't know if I want to give Lightning HP back or if I want to. I don't know if I want to keep on this item that gives her like like more drops, like a, a higher chance to get drops. I don't know what I want to do. I will take this fight because these guys are unusual and I think they actually give us something decent. So they're very tanky though. Let's go ahead and give ourselves some buffs here. Just make the fight go a little bit easier. These guys do a lot of interrupting, which is a shame. Alright. Once you get these guys staggered, they open up and then you can just pound them like this.
And no WWE or AEW events taking um, taking place in Denver, Colorado. I get you, Riley. I got you. How are you getting on in Colorado, Riley? Are you doing all right? How's life treating you in general? Mods are amazing. Holy fuck. Aurora. Ooh. Nice. Mm -hmm. Having mounts in Monster Hunter is such a game changer. Um, no more having to manually run across the map. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Monster Hunter. The games like that generally benefit from like these kind of things, which is cool. Uh, I just picked up a thrust bearing. Um, is that worth my time? Where does that sit? I wonder if that's actually worth to grind. I don't really want to, if I'm being honest. I kind of want to just get the fuck out of dodge. Just going to have a quick peek. This is the weird thing about these kind of items, is that you have to literally go into the shop to upgrade to check if they're actually decent. Hundred and forty XP, not that great. If that was like fucking six hundred or whatever, we, we could potentially consider it because that would become eighteen hundred when you upgrade. But okay, um, I am going the wrong way. Am I? No, yeah, I am. Okay, we have to go this way. Oops. Hi. So we actually jumped up on this platform before we fought the boss and I was like, what the fuck is this? But we finally get to advance with the game, so that's pretty cool. We can push on with our story a little bit. Here we go. Board the elevator. Yes, please. Alright. Now that looks like an easier way to get where we're going. Well, let's take it. Wouldn't want you to throw your back out climbing, old man. You really are a charmer, aren't you? Alright. Hopefully this thing still works. Looks a bit rusty, if I'm being honest. I'm back, so sketch. Done with my room and also petted my pups outside. Nice. Wait, what the fuck? Also, it wasn't just an elevator, it was actually a car as well. Wow. So here we are. We made it past the point. Um, can I do any kind of upgrades yet or nah? Please? Nope. I've got 407,000 XP to spend. We can always travel back via this, which is pretty cool. Alright, let's make a new save here, guys. I'm going to grab a quick bottle of water as well from the fridge. Or from my kitchen, at least, if there is any left. And then we're going to push on, okay? Thanks for hanging today. It rolling. Cocoon leaving some dandruff at the bottom. <laughs> Cocoon. God bless. Alright, guys, I'll be back in a sec. Thank you for being here.
that's an actual one. It's a Mazar. Alright, so you just one banged it. Um perhaps? Do we need that? I don't know. I don't know. That could be fun. Alright, chat. Mrs. Wolfie's trying to get me hammered. Wait, what happened to your sketch? What happened? Sketch, wait, what? Guess emojis aren't good here. Tr frick, sorry. Sketch, no, listen, mate, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ske sketch, no, dude. I, I leave the room for two seconds and the nightbot goes full Nazi. Dude, I'm sorry. Uh, so. Okay, let me just explain, because I do this from time to time, and uh, first of all, I, I apologise, right? If I was here, I would have instantly... Oh, you were only timed it for five seconds, that's okay. Um, so the way it's set up for me on Twitch, obviously, is there's there's two type of people on Twitch who come in to a stream, right? Thank you, Mrs. Wolfie, that's great. That looks extremely pink. What do you think of this chat? Can you see that? It all actually looks like white wine in the webcam. Okay, hold on, I'll test it. Tastes alright. <laughs> no, it tastes really strawberry-ish. Where did that come from? Alright, cool. Is there enough? Is that it? Alright, that's cool. I'll, I'll, I'll sip that then. Cool. That's fine now. You want to taste it? Alright, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Alright, cool. Sorry. Anyways. So, sketch. Let me apologise. And to anybody else who's bothered about this kind of discussion. So, in the... In our stream okay there's two types of people that join the stream okay there's the people who want to join and have fun and, and want to spam emojis just regularly and then there's the people who are not trying to just join and have fun in the channel right people are trying to disrupt it right so i've got two settings for night bots right uh, for the night bot i've got a setting for subscribers where they are basically free to do whatever they want to a certain degree okay subs if you're subscribed to the channel the night bot is very lenient so that's why sometimes people sometimes people get confused because they're like, oh, this person was able to spam all these emojis, and then I tried to do it, and the night the nightbot timed me out, and I don't know why. So if you're a sub, right, because you're a sub, you're more likely to be inclined to be supporting the channel. It probably means you're there to have a good time, right, because you've spent money to be here kind of thing. So the nightbot is pretty lenient, but if you're not a subscriber, so Sketch, you've only found us today, right? You, you're only just joining the stream after the, the Snowblar raid, right, the host. So... Everybody else has kind of got this, like, kind of... I think you guys have got a boundary of, like, fucking, like, 30 emotes or something. And then after that, the nightbot just assumes that you're spamming. So, I do need to adjust that. I always do try and adjust it every time this happens. And every time I have to do the the spiel. So, I apologise, mate, that that happened. But, yeah, it's okay. I made a bunch of emojis for far uh, for farmer chaos. Lil. It's as pink as some skin tones. <laughs> but, yeah, that's that. that that's that explained. Thought, says Jesse. See? Free reign. Do we? Uh, oh dear, what have I walked into? Sereni, what's up? How's things? How's things? Sereni, I'm having a little sip. Do you guys like pink gin? It's not exactly extremely manly, but Mrs. Wolfie has tempted me. It doesn't look very pink to you guys. It looks more like a kind of yellowy gold colour. But I, I promise you it's pink. The webcam's uh, green screen settings are fucking it a little bit, but... <laughs> Jesse says... Time to open the tin that I've gone too far. Please no. Please no, chat. Do we? <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's that. I apologise for the the, the, uh, the night ball. I will try and um, adjust it again to be a bit more lenient to emote spam and whatnot. I apologise. But I promise it's there for protection. Just believe me. I don't drink any kind of wine or beer. Mouth uh, be too baby, I guess. Uh, I never used to drink a lot of wine or beer, but it's... Uh, it's definitely an acquired taste for me. I prefer cider, uh, if I'm being honest. I prefer cider. I think it's, it's it kind of bloats you out a little bit more, I think, than beer, maybe. And it doesn't get you drunk as much. But uh, cider's nice. I can sip cider and be happy. Gin tastes like perfume to me, says Sereni. It does, I can see what you're saying. I am, um, normally my... My mum likes gin and tonic, and she'll kind of offer me those if, if she's like going on a night out or whatever. She'll be like, "You want one of these?" And I'll be like, "Yeah, fuck it, sign me up." But um, I can I kind of know what you mean. I kind of know what you mean. Your drink matches Lightning's hair. <laughs> Maybe. I don't drink any kind of wine or beer. N Nightbot, more like a Nazi bot. Am I right? Yeah. 
I uh, I apologize, guys, but we should be all right now. Have I ever? Yeah, I've fought this guy before. Okay, lightning is about to die. Uh, don't kill lightning. Okay, this guy is almost staggered. Just a couple more hits and we're good. All right, he should die now. I don't know how much XP we get for killing this guy, but he is a beefy boy. Nice. Jin rhymes with tin. <laughs> that enemy looks cool. It's a sketch. Yeah, he does. We're in the kind of uh, the undead realms of the, the world at this point. Lightning's definitely missing her bangle. I've, I've took a... Uh... So if anybody wants a quick catch up if you've not been paying attention, I actually took HP off of Lightning so that she could get more kind of rare drops. I don't know if I want that right now, but I'm going to leave it on for the time being because... You know, as long as she doesn't die in the fight, she doesn't technically need the HP. But if we go into a boss fight where the enemy just opens up a can of whip ass as soon as the fight starts, we might struggle, and I'm kind of nervous about that, but we'll see. We could, we could just... Yeah, let's fight this enemy. Uh, we got a preemptive strike on this one, which should make this a lot easier. His name is Taxim. Alright, we're going to get some buffs here, and then we're going to stagger him, and then we're going to kick his ass. Just a couple more buffs, please. Okay, let's just go double commando. That should be fine. So much better, right? When we kill the enemies and uh, when we get them staggered and go double commando, we actually trash them. Alright. And we get a Seath tier for our troubles. We've been collecting a few of those. Pink gin and lemonade is my go-to drink when I'm out. Oh, nice sush. Well, it's actually all right. Like, it tastes... It tastes kind of fruity, which is nice. Um, but I've, I've not got any lemonade in it. It's just literally pink gin. I think it was, like, a little miniature that we got from, like, Christmas or something that I, that I hadn't drunk yet. So I'm just kind of sipping it. If lightning dies, does, is it game over? Ask it. Yes, mate. It is, yeah. If lightning dies, the game is donezo. But if any of our other party members die, uh, it's okay. We can re resurrect them. It, it doesn't always have to be lightning, it's just whoever you have as your battle commander. So, I can make any one of my party members the, the kind of commander. But uh, I choose to have lightning just because she hits hardest and commando is quite good because I can direct her when I need to, you know. If there's a, a small group of enemies that I can clear with AoE, I can command lightning. But if I wanted to, I could make Saz or Hope the commander. But I wouldn't do that because Hope and Saz will... I was going to say Hope and Saz are more likely to die than Lightning, but that's not true because Saz is actually, he's got 600 more HP than ours, almost 700 actually. Um, but Hope is very squishy, so I would never make the healer my main party member. That's just asking for uh, a couple of sneaky deaths here and there by the game. Alright, I have no recollection of getting here the last time I played this game, by the way, guys. I have no memory of coming to this place. Gonna wait for this big guy to turn around and then I'm gonna fight him. Hopefully he doesn't turn around. There we go. I take no responsibility for anything that happens after two glasses of scrumpy. Two wait. Scrumpy? Serenia, is that like um is that like English slang for something? I d I don't know. I I'm, I, I don't know what scrumpy is. I feel like I've missed something obvious. <laughs> Scrumpy. <laughs> what a name, dude. I really wish I played this, uh, played games during the PS3 era. I missed out on so much this couch. I mean, the thing is, couch, a lot of these games are still um, either available through online stores or they're really cheap at this point. So, uh, when I first played Final Fantasy XIII, I didn't enjoy it that much. But I, I'm playing it on PC now. The game's like fucking a tenner or something. I think Sushi picked it up for like three pounds or some shit he said. Something insane. So you can actually go back and play these if you want to. It's up to yourself. I'm just playing it to kind of add to our Final Fantasy collection and because I had a, like a brief urge to play it. You guys were talking about it a lot recently and it kind of made me, uh, kind of made me think of the zone. Enemy named Taxon. Taxon does taxes. Dies, not does. I guess everybody's soul is connected to the commander. Um, is Saz the one with the afro? Love his design, yeah. His name is Saz. We call him Al sometimes because... Oh, I don't even know why we call him Al. I think we called him Al at some point during the game. But uh, yeah, Saz has an afro. He's got a chocobo that lives in the afro. 
little chicken, little baby chicken, little baby chicken chocobo. Mm. Up ahead is the next teleport stone. Wait, what did I just pick up there? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I think I just picked up a new weapon, did I? Did I just pick up a new staff for Vinyl? No. Did was anybody paying attention to this to this stream there? What what did I actually just pick up there? Wait. Oh yeah, we upgraded this. I forgot about that. I was like, where's Hope's old weapon? But that's uh, it's been upgraded. It wasn't you. Was it Snow? It starts with a P. Stagger lock. I could probably sell and send some, to be honest. Um, I imagine a baby chocobo having a gun with uh, one key, he, uh, one hit kills people just because. <laughs> chocobos are cool. We like chocobos a lot. It's hard side are generally cloudy. It's the hard stuff that gets you drunk from the legs up so you don't know you're drunk until you stand up and go to the loo and end up face planting with a mouthful of pump carpet. <laughs> oh, I've been there. Yeah, it's like you just keep drinking in the, in the chair, right? And then you need to go to the bathroom and then you stand up and you're like, wait a minute. It's when you you put your hand up to like feel for the closest wall. <laughs> I've been there. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, oh, right. Did not realize this was where we were until just now. Nah, I feel you, Serenity. I've never, I've never tried Scrumpy before, though, but I'll look out for it. Me and my family went out for uh, a meal on Tuesday, guys. We went to this uh, kind of Caribbean restaurant. It was like kind of, it was really good. I had a burger, which is kind of bland and basic, but it was so tasty. I ended up drinking Star, which I found out was Nigerian beer. It was actually really good. It tasted very similar to like other beers that I've tried, but like, I felt like it was like really drinkable. And it came in a big bottle as well. It was like one of these large beers. It was actually really good. When your legs don't work like they used to before. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I can't sweep you off of your face. Alright. Yeah, and the closest wall turns out to be the floor. <laughs> You guys are mental. I can imagine going out in a night with you guys. I bet you would be an absolute riot. Alright. What are we gonna do now then, guys? A couple of things we can do. There's a teleporter to the left. I think we want to do that quest so we unlock the teleportation stone. And then that that over there is like the... Uh, is that the, the bridge to the next realm, I guess? Maybe the game will tell me, you know, this is the point of no return. Runga. That does so much goddamn damage. Holy fuck. That's OP. Holy moly, Batman. Mark 55. Wait, Sushi, are you talking about my game or your game? Mark 55 being Quest 55? You told me to do that earlier, right? Oh god. Not like this. Pew pew! Nice suit. Alright. 4k XP, I'll take it. Is there anything around here that I can acquire? Oh yeah, we've, we've actually... So this is the last stone that you guys are talking about, is that right? Hmm. Let's see. 28 Ceratosaur. Alright, we're gonna take this on. Let's round the corner, which is nice and easy. Good stuff. Alright, probably gonna get a little cutscene here. This must be the last remains of one of the villages. Erba, I believe. You guys were telling me yesterday. Which is your house? What do you mean, which is ours? All of them. They're all ours. 
Yep. Everyone in the village lived together. Uh, one big happy family? One heck of a lot of places to hang your hat. Saz has never worn a hat in his life, let's face it. How would you get a hat on that fucking... On that afro? Alright, Airbnb. We made it. Cool. This place looks a bit fucked up though, not gonna lie. Very eerie setting, you know. I feel like we've been on the we're kinda at the edge of the earth in this kind of town. That kind of vibe. So, do you wanna take a look around? We better. Gotta find something to help us lose these friends. That's not the only reason we're here. You're finally home. Make the most of it. We have a countdown timer that's gonna turn us into zombies, Saz is like, yeah, let's just hit up the local strip strip joint. Make the most of it? Saz, are you drunk? Oh god, Dad. What are you doing in here? Yeah, your game Quest 55 gives you an S tier accessory. I don't know where rank, well, I don't know where that one is. I don't know if I've found that one. Quest 55. Lightning gets weird shade goes away and then black maybe because of the windmill. Maybe she's drunk, I don't know. Sorry, I was getting my ass whipped. No, you're fine, Sush. You Gucci. Alright, we stagger this guy and he dies, pretty much. I like how we invited them out from the house, out into the into the terrace. Out here into the street. We we're like, excuse me, sir, do you mind not fighting in the house? Would you mind following me outside so we can kick your ass? And when I say kick your ass, I mean try to not die. Don't kill lightning, please. Don't do it. I know you're wanting it. Don't do it. Good. Not lightning. Speaking of hey, Arnold. Alright, well... I don't recognise that. Sassy. Way there. <laughs> Sassy. <laughs> Yo, Jay, what's up, dude? Grains of crystal and sand choke the inner workings of this machine. Whatever purpose it once served, it is served no longer. Thanks for that game. Uh, I don't know what exactly that's used for. Jay Cram, what's up, dude? How was your gig, man? You all right? We were talking about Hey Arnold earlier on. I'm liking the new uh, the new walk-ons, dude. Good choice, good choice. In the desert schoolhouse in Erba. Mm -hmm. It would be funnier if that happened to Lightning though. Sometimes I think that um, this is like a PlayStation port obviously to PC, right? Sometimes I think the game does suffer a little bit from like certain lag. And maybe that's what was happening with the Lightning, I don't know. Maybe it's something to do with the shaders or something. But uh, yeah, it's a bit weird. Nice, I'll take it. Alright. 4k XP for that fight, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more. Maybe, but... OMG rocket power. Do you know what I thought when, when I heard the guy singing about riders, dude? It remembered me, or reminded me of a show I used to watch when I was younger. Did any of you guys ever watch The Biker Mice from Mars? You, you guys must have watched The Biker Mice from Mars, right? Talking about all these old cartoons. Now I have the tur the fucking Ninja Turtles soundtrack in my head as well for some reason. Turtles count it on. One, two, three, four. Turtles. Chain reaction turtles. It's a shell of a time. And then obviously there's the classic. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I think got changed to Hero Turtles. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. Yep, that's my, that must be it. Not bad. Just funny to point out. Baker Mace from Mars? No, the Baker Mace.
biker mice, so they were literally rats on motorbikes. The biker mice from Mars. You guys never... You guys must know the biker mice, right? Olga! What's up? Biker mice from Mars. Street sharks. <laughs> Street sharks. That does trigger bell. Yeah, Olga gets it. Nice. Welcome, Olga. Welcome to the stream. Heroes in a half shell. There you go. Hey, man. Hey, man. Welcome, Olga. I'm glad somebody got the biker mice from Mars reference. I can't remember how the uh, the intro used to go, but I used to love that. Maybe I would remember if I heard it. Probably know all the words as well. Is there nothing in here? I can hear an item. Maybe it's up the stairs. What the fuck? Examine. These uh, burlap sacks are stuffed with tools uh, for outdoor labours. There's a dildo in one pocket and uh, a shoehorn in the other. One bears a bag proclaiming the name of its former owner. Former owner. Examine. Oh, sneaky, sneaky hidden cutscene. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Doesn't this guy do something really useful? Okay. I was worried. Huh? He wanted to say goodbye. He's not ready for the scrap heap just yet. Bit worse for wear, yeah. <sighs> Nothing I can't fix. Just need to track us down some parts. What does this do again if we repair the robot? It does something big. Vanille's robot pa uh, pal Bakti is a di in dire need of repair. She'll be able to find five of the necessary replacement parts within the village. Um, okay, cool. Examine. A pot size could feed great, uh, great many mouths and would be used regularly for communal cooking. I bet you that motherfucker would take ages to heat up. Holy moly. Uh, what else have we got in here? Uh, no, it's just a... <laughs> I'm sorry, it's hard to navigate. The, the camera angles in this game rotate by themselves freely. And I can try and counteract them with my right analog stick, but sometimes the game's just like, nope. Uh, okay, so I guess the parts are like these five markers, maybe? Mighty Ducks, the cartoon. The Dead South was phenomenal and Six by Nico was great at the restaurant. Nice, Jay. Nice, dude. Is that the band you were going to see? The Dead South? You did say you were going to see country music, actually. You did say that earlier on in the week. Dude, I can hear an item close by, but I can't find it. It must be outside the shack. These guys, fighting these guys is so boring, man. They're so lame. I gotta just drop my buffs and then try and... I just gotta let the buffs fucking build up. I could potentially... Uh, I'll just let the team buff themselves. Alright. I was also hammered! Nice. How are you feeling today, Jay? Are you alright? You're not hungover, are you? It's good to have you here, man. Also, I looked up Biker Mice for the first time. Weird. <laughs> when you say weird, you mean awesome as fuck? Now for some overwatch. I'm fine. Alright, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh wait, I staggered this guy. I was supposed to kill him. Oops. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Me and uh, J-Bob were talking about overwatch. We were going to play it today at some point. Um, I just don't know when. Probably after I'm done streaming and after he gets off work. So if you want to play some games, Jay, we'd be down. We could uh, lose some elo together, Kappa. Nice suit. You shouldn't buff yourself in public. <laughs> Listen, I'll do what I want, alright? I am the king of Erba, and I will do as I please. I have to find this item, though. I can hear it. Is it round the corner? There it is. That motherfucker. Right, we gotta grab this. I'm gonna have to fight the slimy hand. What the fuck is that thing, dude? I guess we kill that first. Alright, I'm gonna use Libra on this guy. I wonder if this thing regenerates or something bizarre. I wouldn't be surprised. Let's go ahead and scan him. He's dying very fast. I don't know what that guy did, but I'm not complaining. 
Overwatch, you say, says Carthor. Yes, sir. Overwatch. I've been actually watching a bunch of streamers play Overwatch recently. Just watching them and watching how they react and how they play and what they do. It's been quite enlightening. It's been quite entertaining. I was watching a, a dude play a bunch of D.Va last night. That was quite cool. He was so fast. He was so fucking fast at being able to do things. Um, he wasn't doing insane. I think he was like... He was like 5 wins, 6 losses or something. But um, I also watched Kefri for a little bit as well. Um, Kefri is notorious for being a, a Widow one trick. You guys might know him. He's also... Well, he's quite a character, I will say that much. He was entertaining to watch. He was making me laugh. Some of the things he was talking about with his chat, but... Um, he was just... He was playing me and he was just dominating games. He was just dominating. Okay, so this is a robot part, right? Do I have to fight the enemies again? It would be awesome if they had the fighting style like in Kingdom Hearts, Bayonetta, or De Devil May Cry 5. Yeah. Thanks. Kingdom Hearts uh, gameplay can feel really satisfying. I remember in the beginning though it felt kind of spammy and kind of grindy. <gasps> it took a while, especially in the first Kingdom Hearts. The first Kingdom Hearts games took a while to kind of uh, pop off a little bit. Oh, we are dying. We are dying. Come on, Hope. You got this. Whew, that was close. I was a little bit scared there, not gonna lie. The restaurant was a six course meal with wine pair for each course. Wait, what? So hold on, Jake, and where did you say you went, bud? You went to a place by the name of Six by Nico. Whereabouts were you, Jake Ram, if you don't mind me asking? What what city were you in? Yeah, I'm up for Overwatch later. Dude, six course meal? Jay, I don't even know what six course meal looks like, dude. Like, how how <laughs> how long were you there for? <laughs> Is that like a four hour fucking <laughs> adventure? You obtain a power cable, we need four more. Okay, cool. Let's go back up here. I'm gonna have to go back into this fucking goddamn house. Alright, let's do it. Gonna have to fight this boy again. Five won six losses? No, no, no. He he won five games and he lost six when I was watching. One draw, but I would do five, six, one. No, 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 no. The guy just, uh, the guy won five games and lost six in the time that I was watching him. But he was, uh, he was playing pretty well. I feel like uh, when I was watching him play D.Va, he didn't feel like he had, like, a huge impact on the game. That was the only thing that kind of made me sad about watching him, but... He opened, he did a lot of flank routes that I've never seen before. He did a lot of positioning that I thought was like, oh, I didn't know you could do that. Um, Temple of Anubis, he had this like really weird flank where he got up on a, on a ledge. Um, and it was crazy. Crazy, crazy good. Glasgow, two hours. Sounds insane though, dude. I'm glad you had a good night, man. Six courses and wine with each one seems bonkers though. Sometimes I wonder if these places are intentionally getting you drunk so that you uh, you just end up buying tons of shit. When I'm when I get drunk in a restaurant, guys, I end up oh, like ordering the biggest ice cream that I don't need. Definitely a strategy. It's not big portions, Roger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would imagine that it would balance out, right? I don't think they bring you like six actual full-sized plates. Can we kill this thing, please? His shield is so obnoxious, dude. Why? I wonder if I can cleanse the shield off of him. Or if it's part of the fight. What a pain in the bum he is. Five wins, not five ones. Beer Beast is sketch. Yeah, he wanted, he wanted five games. He was doing alright, though. He was pretty good. He, high, we're talking high elo, by the way. You're talking like 4,200 like points SR. All right, three more parts, let's go get them. I remember this robot does something pretty good and I can't remember what it is, but I remember him being quite important. I can only see one part on the map, where's the other bit? Oh, back the way? Do I need to go all the way back to get that? Objective of interest. I think I need to go back, do I? 
examine. Right, I don't want to fight every single enemy I encounter along the way here. I kind of just want to dodge past most of them if I can. Some of them are giving good XP, but some of them are not. Do I need this thing? Leave me alone. They're really easy to deal with. I remember using D-Protect and D-Shell on him in the, after staggering and then he dies in like 5 hits. Ah, I see them. Maybe there's a strat that I've been neglecting. I do miss out on a lot of D-Shell like kind of uh, strategies because I, uh, because of like I don't have the Neil. But Saz does actually have D-Shell and D-Protect so maybe I can actually like filter that in the next time I fight him. Mm. Chat, with Mon Hunt, Monster Hunt weapons should I learn? Go. Um, Sushi, I don't think your copy and paste went through, my man. I only see two asterisks next to your name. Sounds like a tasting menu. I love them, lots of variety without giving uh, you a Buddha belly, sister any, yeah. Do you know what? I think this is taking me back to the transporter and I don't actually want to go there. I think I'm going the exact, I'm going the complete wrong way. Fuck me. Yeah, that's what it was, yeah. Sounds good. It does sound really good, Jay. Because then you can try a bunch of different stuff as well, like like Sereni's saying, like, when you kind of sample it. I I actually think that's really cool, because then you can, like, you can... Let's say you can't choose between a bunch of things, so you just take a couple, and then... For future reference, you know, oh, I actually could have eaten a lot more of that. And you don't have to be scared, because if you order, like, two of your six, and, and it doesn't taste exactly what you were expecting, it's not the end of the world, right, because you've got, like, all the other food coming too. Joe Blades from Monster Hunter says Carthor. That was me adding an asterisk to my previous message. Oh. Um, in that case, Sushi, I think you should learn to use the bone arrow. Become a Hanzo main. I'm having one for my birthday in May and I'm really excited to Serenity. That's hype. Nice suit. I'm excited for you. Alright, I don't want to get in a fight with you. I'm going to run past you. So there has to be more things for the robot, right? But I can only see one more thing on the map. Where am I going to get the rest of it? Excuse me, good sir. Oh wait, hold on. I think there's something to do here. I think there's something buried under the tree, so I need to fight this guy. So what I'll do is I'll let Hope and... I like Hope, Hope and Saz do their buffs here. Get a couple of buffs. This isn't the same enemy, obviously, but I might actually try and see. Let me actually try D shell and debuff. The only thing about going into Saboteur with Saz is sometimes he doesn't land his spells immediately, and that can be really fucking annoying. Like, if I have to wait for Saz here to do like fucking eight different debuffs, it can be quite annoying. He's so slow! Oh, he's not- oh, he has hasted. Come on, Saz. Oh, is this guy immune? Oh, he's- he's immune. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. My bad. Oh god, Gunlands. Glaive- Insect Glaive Gunlands. Says J. Of all the weapons, J. Cram. I mean, you did ask for the chance opinion, Sushi. I'm pretty sure- <laughs> I'm pretty sure Jake specifically picked that to troll you. Just got a, got a vague inclination that that might be the case. I had a pig head and it was great. I would not have normally went for it. A pig head. Wow. Alright, there we go. Yeah, we just straight up acquired that. Cool. Oh, this is the weirdest. I remember this. This is the weirdest thing for them to put in the video game here. Look at this. See this branch? What the fuck? There's an AM up there, I can hear it and see it. I can see it, I can feel it. I can see it, I can feel it. I already used both the insect glaive and the bow. Ah, there you go. We were, uh, we must be aligned then. Hmm. So the next one you're going for is obviously the, the insect glaive gun lance. Oh wait, hold on, the insect glaive must be... 
separate, is that? Is that right? Holy fuck, dude. That is a lot of monsters. Thanks. Is this fight going to be a huge pain in the ass? I think these guys can actually summon. I gotta kill them fast before Hope dies. Is he dead? Did Hope just die? He did die. Oh no, he didn't die. We're fine. I thought he was a goner there. I read. I was ready to summon Odin, which I didn't want to have to do. What an interesting fight. <laughs> Alright, we did it. Mission complete. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Nice, 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 nice. Giant's glove. What is that? What would one do with a giant's glove in Final Fantasy 13 Realms? Uh, increases the brave resistance by 30%. Oh, I get it. We're living like giants, like giants. We're living like giants. Oh, we're living like gypsies, like gypsies. Hmm. Back. I brought some water. Welcome back, Sketch. Imagine if you could sequence break into the credit scene by doing that small jump twenty times. <laughs> I mean, yeah. All right. Here's the enemy. We're gonna do it, guys. This is it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Saboteur. We're going to try and put buffs on him. He's actually immune to D-Protect and D-Shell, which uh, kind of sucks. I thought we were going to be able to roll him, but we actually can't. We just got to stagger him <coughs> and then kill him with Commando, which is what we have been doing, but sometimes he gets his shield back before we can actually kill him. We'll do this nice and fast here. We can't launch this enemy into the sky. Which is like the main problem. <coughs> can we get him in time? Maybe. Maybe he. Maybe we can kill him. Hmm. I think he's dead. Nice. All right. Not bad. I honestly remember this area from thirteen two more than this game. So does uh does thirteen two actually reuse certain locations again, guys? I didn't know that. Uh, examine. Reinforced leather bindings allowed picture books and children's primers like these to withstand the attention of their audience. There you go. You obtained an aspheric lens. Remaining parts needed one. Wait a minute. I hear you. Where are you? Ah, oh, this is cool. There's a quest item up here, and two chests. Hey, it's like a little greenhouse area, that's cool. We've got a Moogle puppet that sells for money, that's good. It's like 10k or something. Oh, high powers. That is a big daddy weapon for Saz. A paper tiger passive ability greatly reduces maximum HP of Saz himself? Why why are all these debuffs in the game? Is it just raw raw power? <coughs> it must be raw power, right? Because this is only level one and it almost has the same strength and magic. So you sacrifice HP for like raw damage maybe? Interesting. The game always kinda sells it like it's like a negative. I don't know. Do, 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 do. We're living like giants, like giants. A little staircase down to the water, that's cool. So where's my last robot part then, guys? I've got most of them. But I don't have any more markers. Is that along the way? I would like to get past this fight without getting involved. But obviously that's fucking impossible. Yes, I don't even know where to start with the gun lance. Thanks. You got this, Sushi. I believe. Renega's gonna do big DPS. Oof. Oh, 
At least we're getting good AoE damage off, I guess. Oh dear. Hope I need HP, please. Alright. Alright, Mr. Vampire. Uh, do you mind? That's a lot of, that's a lot, that's a lot of damage. Alright. 13-2 should be on the next, uh, should be next on the agenda, you guys think so? You just really want to go straight from this game into Final Fantasy 13 2 though? I don't know if you guys... Is that a good idea? Hmm, maybe. I'm definitely more inclined to play 13 2 now and try it out. I had a really nice comment on one of my uh, VODs for 13 today, guys, when I came in and started. Let me shout the person out, actually. Let's give some love. I'll give you guys... So, uh, J7 Shy, uh, I don't know if it's Jashi or whatever, but J7 Shy commented, Hey man, just want to say, really love Final Fantasy XIII and I appreciate that people like you still play it, even with all the negativity the game gets. Keep up the good work, man. What a nice comment that was. I love comments like that. What a cool dude. <laughs> yeah, the fully upgrades goes from greatly reduced HP to reduces HP with an extra ATB gauge. Ah, nice. -oo. I don't know. Are they directly connected to Sketch? I think the characters are, yeah. Um, I don't know what you end up doing in most of the, the other games, though. That would be something to find out when we were playing it, I guess. <clears throat> 13 2 is my favourite from the trilogy, it's a direct sequel. There you go. <clears throat> I'd like to see you do Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep eventually, says Couch. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Olga says, I, in a heavily convoluted way, yeah. I can hear another item here. I feel like I can hear another item, maybe not. Examine. Where on earth is my last upgrade for the robot? Let's make a save file here just in case. I may actually end up running to the bathroom real quick guys before I go into this. I don't know what's going to happen. Give me a second guys, I'll be back in like two minutes, alright? Sorry to keep disappearing all the time. Is it as convoluted as the Kingdom Hearts franchise? I don't know if anything can be as convoluted as Kingdom Hearts, if I'm being honest. Not quite, lol, nah. Not quite, luckily, since there are only three games and it does wrap up nicely. Well, that's quite good then, Olga. That's encouraging, at least. So, if we do decide to play Final Fantasy uh, 13 2 or, you know, I don't know what the third part is called. Is, is Lightning Returns Part 2 or is that the third one? But, um, I, I've never played them before and I never actually considered playing them. I've saw my friend playing it once or twice because uh, one of my mates back in the day had, like, a had like a gaming shed and some of the other guys used to sit and play Final Fantasy 13 too but um, I've never actually played it myself so maybe that'd be cool <clears throat> oh god <laughs> Lightning Returns is part 3 yeah alright roger roger cool 13 2 had an interesting plot system alright guys I'll be back in like 2 seconds alright thank you <clears throat>
<clears throat> Alright guys, sorry about that. We Gucci. What did I miss? Lightning Returns is the third part, 13-2 had an interesting plot system. I feel like Lightning Returns would have been good without the timers. Yeah. You guys mentioned the timers earlier, actually. Dude, I'm wow, to my fucking jumper, dude. Jumper, please. Hello? Jumper? There we go. <coughs> I enjoyed Lightning Returns um, the most, but everyone has their own opinion, says Olga. Hell yeah. I know everybody has their own opinion because sometimes you guys tell me that games are really good and then I play them and they're absolutely garbage. I won't name any names. But uh, yeah, and vice versa. Sometimes you guys are like, nah Jack, you won't like this and then I play and I'm like, ah, this was actually great. I had a fucking blast playing this game. So I totally respect that. I also didn't enjoy Noel as a character though, but I'm in the minority. Is it Noel or is it Noel? I don't know. Noel maybe? Uh, don't know who Noel is, what happened? Fuck off, says Jcram. Pardon? Pardon? Jcram? Explain your- was that- is <laughs> I never even mentioned anything, alright? I wasn't gonna bring up Ace Combat, but I mean, now that you've met- now that you've said it. <laughs> so let's get your ass out of the way, my dude. We gotta fight these boys. I think we can maybe squeeze past them, I'm not sure. <clears throat> Alright, gentlemen, if you wouldn't mind lining up in an orderly fashion. That was a very slow attack lining, I don't know what happened there. Lightning doesn't really benefit from doing blitz all the time, to be honest. She benefits from single attacks. Let's just go triple. Oh, that's not even right. Fuck. Every time. Alright. Hope's taking a bit of a slapping in the back here, but we'll be alright. <laughs> alright, nice suit. These ways feel kind of sluggish, if I'm being honest. I don't think uh, it's because our party are weak, it's just these enemies are like generally pretty tanky. They don't really do, they don't really pose much of a threat, they're just like meaty fucking takes us ages to kill. Which feels a bit of a bummer. Pew pew. Alright, last but not least. <laughs> I like how we're fighting this guy's allies, like his friends, and he's just like fucking on the edge of the fight looking off into the sunset. Like, what are you doing, mate? Hacks MC. Are you trying to throw? You guys could have had this if you had all, all attacked lightning at once. Not that I would have wanted that, obviously. I wasn't an old fan myself, but who doesn't want to use a Moogle as a weapon? Alright. Cool. Um, I think we're going up the stairs. They're living like giants, like giants. Alright, we made it. My last robot part is over here. Oh, we got another examine. This is a fuel tank. Judging by the look of it, any liquid left inside would surely have been rendered useless by now. Alright, lightning, I didn't know you were a chemical engineer. Alright, this is our last robot part. You obtained the metal plate, you will now have all the parts necessary to repair Vanille's robot pal. So, do I go back and do that now? I guess? <clears throat> Flame Bane brooch. Alright. Conflict resolved. Conflict resolved. Health levels critical. Shields critical. Conflict resolved. <clears throat> Activating combat mode. Living like giants. Like giants. Did Why did they make you... There is quite a lot, right? This is one flaw I have found with, with Final Fantasy XIII. Whenever they give you side quests, they always make you run for fucking ages. And I don't know why. Um, they make you backtrack and then all the enemies respawn and then you try and sneak past them, but they're so fat. Okay, never mind. We, we did it. We did it. I oh, Just makes me a little bit sad, you know? No. Right, I want to sneak. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do this to me. There we go. <gasps> Fool of a took. Alright, I'm gonna just hop, skip and a jump over my tree branch friend here. 
All right, for the most part, that was pretty, uh, pretty easy. You're gonna take a left turn, Mr. Big Guy, and give me a wide gap to get through here. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, we're fine. Where was the robot? He was in here, wasn't he? Get away from me, shield bitch. <clears throat> All right, we repaired the robot. Let's see what happens. I think we get an achievement for doing this as well, actually. Okay. I like how Fang and Vanille are right in his face. Oh, Bugsy, thank goodness. Oof, you're a lifesaver, Saz. Ah, it was just a quick tune-up. <laughs> Don't mention it. But what did that do? Can I interact with it? Congratulations, you are a true uh, Pulsian pioneer. But somewhere out there, long forgotten equipment still is waiting be, uh, waits to be found. Backy bonus bite number 10. If you climb to the seventh tier of the, uh, the Tajin's Tower, you will be able to rejoin all of the elevator rail, rail sections. You obtain 10 vials of the Septisol. You obtain two uh, ultra compact reactors. Obtain the gold nugget, that's 60k right there. Five vials of perfume. <clears throat> Three platinum ingots. And we did, we get Pulsi and Pioneer, the achievement, which doesn't come up on the stream, but I did actually pick it up in the corner there. So we just get a bucket load of uh, resources and then a tip, I guess. Backy bonus bite number eight. Complete a top secret mission on the arc, uh, arc light step and new varieties of ortosoys may emerge. Oh, that's cool. So he just gives you like clues about the game, I guess. And a fucking shitload of resources too. I guess if you complete the mini quest, he will give you like a bunch of stuff, maybe? That's pretty cool. Uh, right, well, with that in mind, do we want to push forward, guys? Like, once I... If I keep going, am I going to get stuck? No! I hate you. I hate you so goddamn much. Can I just like... I'm kind of tempted to just like fucking try and walk past these guys, honestly. I can't be arsed with these fucking shitty fights, man. I've done them three times. Fucking hell. I need a nap, says Carthor. This is Airbnb, right? Yeah, it is Airbnb, yeah. Airbub. Airbub. Hoop. Hoop. Mm -hmm. Get away from me. So, I think I'm okay to just push on, but like, can I just walk past you please? Can you guys come away from the steps? That would be greatly appreciated. That's right, keep walking to the side, keep walking to the side. There's my gap, baby, there's the gap. Don't do it, don't fucking do it. Ugh. What a pain in the ass, man. Thanks. One of many flaws. Jcram, don't don't bring your negativity back to this chat, young man. Fuck me. Quest 55 is on the roof of the deserted schoolhouse, wherever that was. Whenever that is. Um. Oh yeah, I know where Quest 55 is. But it was, uh, I think that it was... So, if I was able to do the quest sushi, the little quest node would have been standing upright. But when I saw it and found it, it was tipped sideways. Which means that there's prerequisites to do that quest. So I can't just do it just now. I need to do like other quests before. This is a lot of damage. You have to set this old Jack to <clears throat> I didn't have one for the longest time, so if, I've, if I have one now, I've picked it up recently. And it only lasts about 10 seconds. So even if I dodge one fight, it's not going to dodge the rest of them. Alright, kill his ass. Didn't you just receive 10? What is that? What I, I thought I got 10 of something else, but you guys may be right. 
I did receive 10, yeah. Well, there you go. But the thing is, guys, my point still stands that, like, the enemies in this area are, like, really... Like, the Deceptor Soul lasts about 20, 30 seconds. So you can use it to dodge past some enemies, but then you're gonna be... Like, if we have to run back through here, right? If I get to this point and it tells me, this is the point of no return, you can't go any further. Then I'm gonna still have to run past them again, and then... You know... It's just like a kind of... It's a cycle that repeats. Alright, so... I mean, in a way it's good because we're getting XP, it's just the fucking amount of effort involved in fighting them, it's quite boring. Oh god. Come on in boys. Come at me. I don't know why this little pathway exists at the side. We're living like giants, like giants. Okay. Alright, this is all new beyond this point. Some of these guys you have to fight. <laughs> They're literally blocking the path. That's kind of gross. I mean, I guess the game wants you to be a certain level before you progress. Like, I get that too. They just interrupted my fucking... with one of the other arms to make a bigger arm. What the fuck? These enemies aren't too bad at all. They're pretty squishy, actually. Yes. Alright. Complete mission 14, Defender of the Flock, and unlock Crystallarium stage 9. Um, we completed mission 4... No, maybe we did 13, actually. complete mission 14. We have not done mission 14, I don't think. Oh, we have. Defender of the Flock, yeah. Oh, maybe that's available to us then. Maybe you're right. No. That sucks. We've done quest 14, but we're still on stage... Eight of the Crystallarium. I can't go any higher. Fourteen unlocked the Chocobos. Did you know Hope uh, um, is the only sin in the game and that doesn't buff everyone equally? He always buffs everyone before himself. I see. Maybe it's because it's probably to do with... I think the AI knows who has the most damage in the team and it normally buffs those people first. So maybe it thinks that Hope because... I mean, it might be something to do with like, like supposedly his character or whatever. But I think it's to do with like your damage output. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe if you give him like a ton of like mana, like magic boost and stuff or something, he would actually buff himself, I don't know. Or maybe it was specifically programmed that he wouldn't buff himself ever, I don't know. That's a cool, that's a kind of cool feature. It's quite good that Hope buffs other people first. Um, I kind of wish sometimes he would give himself like some sort of defensive buff early though. The boss at the end of here unlocks stage 9, says Gajin. Gajin, if I defeat the boss at the end of this area, right, will I be able to defeat him, unlock stage 9, and then return back the way if I want to? Or will that continue me into the next stage of the game? How does it work? I'm, all, I'm always terrified about getting locked into, like, the next dimension, but... I guess it's not really that big of a deal. Is that as in, yes, it will take me into the next dimension, or yes, I'll be okay to come back? I think I asked you, can I beat him and then turn around? So we should be fine, hopefully. You won't leave pulse until you're ready to. Alright, good. Hey, the taming pole. Fan can tame my pole anytime she likes. Am I right, chat? I mean, what? Sorry, that was rude. 
Okay, onwards, onwards, fellow friends. Along the path of life we go. This area looks very cold. Of all the lush kind of green that we've ever seen in Pulse, it's very bizarre that they would choose to live here. Although I guess the giant lake was probably good for them, I don't know. We're living like giants, like giants. I think there's a confirmation at the point in no return, yeah. I got you guys. Nice. Alright, hell yeah. Ease my troubles, that's what you do. Want you back. Want you back. Do 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 want you back. Want you back. We've got so much XP in the tank, so much XP in the tank tonight. Spending our XP, getting stronger, -y. kicking the sea and false -y. ass. All right, I'ma pick up this bad boy of a chest. Gimme, gimme, shimmy, shimmy. Thank you. An etherol, an ether soul rather. One ether soul coming right up. Cool. More like fellow fiends after that comment, am I right? Pardon? <laughs> Alright! Progress! Give me a sexy cutscene, go. I dare you. Ragnarok. Come day of wrath. O oh, pulse the sea. Embrace thy fate. Thine home to burn. Fallen souls might bear our plea to hasten the divine's return. O oh, piteous wanderer, Ragnarok, make of this day a brave epoch. Deliver the divine, Ragnarok. Sarah, TOS. I was waiting for you to open your eyes. <sighs> All the time I was asleep, I knew what was happening. I kept trying to think of a way to save Cocoon. Together. Sarah? <gasps> you get it now. <gasps> it's the Pope. No matter where you look, Hedwig's here. That's why we have to call one. Destroy Orphan. We'll save the world. Stop it! You can't do that. You love me too much. You, don't you, Claire? <gasps> Claire. Enough already. Claire. Listen up. That face, though. Shooting for the same goal here. Does anybody else low-key think that, that Sarah looks a little bit like Miss Miss Piggy? <gasps> He's cheating. Bartandalus is using hacks confirmed. Get him out of the game. Get him out of the server. Alright, guys. This is an important cutscene and I hate pausing the cutscenes, but I gotta ask you an important question. How often do you think that Bartandalus dresses up as Sarah and just walks about his ship by himself? He probably does it quite regularly, right? Do you think he just turns into Sarah and he just walks about the ship like, Ooh, I'm Sarah. I'm Sarah today. What do you think? The world you claim to wish to protect now faces the end of days with no hope of salvation. I didn't think Falci had the means. Oh, it won't be. Or the balls. Destroy her. For centuries now, Cocoon has provided generously for its human inhabitants every want and need. I don't have my uh, my health bangle on. Lightning. Say, the result being Fuck. their deep seated fear and hatred of change and all things alien. Hedwig. Nurtured and ready to detonate at the slightest spark. 
The seeds of destruction take root, even now. What did you do to Cocoon? I resigned, appointing Reigns as Primarch in my stead. Reigns? He's alive? We turned him into a crystal. The puppet is restrung to serve my needs. Yes, its eyes had long since turned to glass. Of course, the cavalry's eyes will see our friend as nothing more than a traitor to their cause. They'll say the foul sea got to him too, or some such drivel. And imagine when I spread word that it's Orphan tugging at his strings. What happens next? Uh, You're gonna use the cavalry to take the thing out? <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> that smile. Or perhaps I'll feign the howling of Pulsian wolves and let the fear-addled sheep slaughter themselves first. Either way, the end is at hand. We hate evil Pope. We hate him. <laughs> Classic scenario where the bad guy reveals his entire plan, though. Oh, Barty, let's go, my dude. I don't have any, um... What we got? We've only, he's only got one face. Alright, we got a buff. Lightning is missing 400 HP from her bangle, guys. Which is a, a bit of a problem. She's got a fucking item boosting item on right now, which is just a, a, a massive fail on my behalf, but... This guy... Uh, we would have to use Libra again if we want to get more information about him. I'm gonna go into uh, Ravager mode here. We're gonna get some heals. I think we're fully buffed at this stage, so... We're gonna try and get some debuffs off on him. I don't know if we can actually de-protect de him or whatever. We can. Alright, let's get him. Triple Ravager. Let's see what this guy can do. I have a feeling this is only phase one of the boss fight though. Let's go commander, hit him with a lot of damage here. I'm gonna commando heal just to make sure that we're fairly safe. What the fuck is that? Is that a defensive stance? Let's go double commander ravager here. Get some damage off on him. Hope has a lot of damage, so we want to help him as hard as we can. The Zega, that's a problem. Uh, I don't know what... Is it Phil removes days from one ally? We need it on Hope. There we go. Hope should be able to cleanse us. We can help him with magic, at least. That's good. Okay, he's still... Technically, he's still stunned. Or still staggered. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, I need Commando Ravager now. He's still debuffed though. Uh, I am going to get Medic. We're going to try and get our haste buffs back from Saz. There we go. Triple Ravager should be good here. Oh, he just slowed us. Um, I need hope to cleanse our debuffs here, I think. Big heals. I'm gonna try and get a debuff on him here. Come on, Saz, get the debuffs off, please. Debuff him. Debuff his ass, dude. There we go, that'll do. Fuck it, I'll take it. Commando Ravager Medic. Double Commando for extra damage with Hope just plowing him with magic. Okay, that seems like a big move. Okay, he's into his next phase, I think. He actually cleansed his debuff there. Okay, I don't know what that was. That was big damage, maybe? Oh, he cleansed himself again. Okay, let's go... Uh Let's go Medic Synergy Synergy here and get all of our buffs back as quickly as we can. Thanks. Uh, Cura Cura, we'll just do this, we'll do AoE heals. Thank you. Come on guys, hurry up with the buffs please, we're trying to sustain here. 
Buffs, buffs, buffs. Come on, you guys are faster than this. Thanks. A little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. Alright, we're gonna sabotage him. There's the debuff. Magic resistance. Alright, we're gonna go on to sustain here. We're gonna go triple rav, try and stagger him. This is kinda risky with Saz in the yellow, but I think we'll be okay. We gotta stagger him now. We gotta stagger him now. Okay, that was kinda scary, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's go on uh, sustain here. I need heals, please, Hope. As fast as you can. Hope's been slowed. That's not good. He cleansed himself, though. That's good. Zega. Alright, just keep hitting him. We should be alright. I think I go into Medic Synergy Synergy here and try and get my buffs back. He's still technically, like, staggered, so... I gotta be careful. Oh god. What is that? Buffs rem buff removal? Yeah. Come on, come on. I gotta cleanse Saz ASAP. There we go. Okay. Give me my buffs. Need my buffs to kill this guy. Poison's a bit of a pain, but we'll be alright. We'll deal with that in a minute. Hope can cleanse that shit. There's the magic buffs, that's good. He's actually quite low. I'll take that, that's the best amount of buffs we're gonna get for the time being. We've lost haste on Hope, that's bad. We've got buffs here. I think we'll be alright. That move sucks, dude. I'm not a fan of that. <clears throat> Can I go into this? Debuff him for a second. Don't want to stagger him just yet. Alright, a couple more buffs. We stagger this guy, we finish him off. Asuna is good. Cure ourselves three times. Triple Ravager, we stop the bar from falling down. And then we kill him. Commando, double commando. Okay, this is risky. Is that our buffs gone? <clears throat> Just as we stagger him, that's really rude. That is so fucking rude. We could lose here if I'm not careful. Any buffs? Okay. As fast as she's like, boys. Come on, come on, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. Now it becomes Seath, is that what he said? It's a bit fucking rude. Alright, he's very low. I don't like the constant cleansing that he does, that's kind of fucking annoying, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> there we go. Alright, can we go into like, some sort of stable mode here? Technically, I guess you don't want to stagger this guy, because I think when you stagger him, that's when he cleanses all the buffs. Look how the little faces on his mouth are moving the whole time. Kill his ass. He's low. Just a little bit more damage. We're going double commando for the rest of the stagger. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Alright, we got there. Oof. 
Alright, four stars. We get 100,000 CP. What the fuck? And we get a goddess favor. Crystallarium has expanded. We did it, chap. Alright, not exactly a clean fight, but we got there. Look at this dude. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright. Are those statues singing the background music? That's what I was thinking, Couch. That's what I was thinking. Allow me to extend my invitation. You can extend these balls. Save a people beyond salvation. There is only Ragnarok. Mm-hmm. Cocoon suffers. Release her from the pain. <laughs> Alright. Handled, guys. Handled. I think that, that move... The, obviously, the, the main threat of that fight, right? The main threat is when he does his move where he opens up and then blasts you, right? Um, we don't have a sentinel, so moves like that are actually kind of terrifying, but luckily Hope does actually give an armor and magic de like buff to our team to prevent us from taking as much damage. So it does help quite a large amount, but like, I was kind of nervous there. Um, fine. I think we are way over leveled for that guy, like we spent so much time grinding, we have spent, spent so much time like leveling our equipment and so, gaining XP. This is the end of the rainbow, huh? Here's hoping the pot's full of tips on dealing with crackpot foul C. Hmm. You know, I don't remember this being here before. I guess it's new, huh? Yeah, must be. I suppose it might be a record of what happened. You know, after we turned to crystal. To the Pope. Okay, boomer. <laughs> the Pope is a boomer. He's a moulding boomer. Cocoon, where the slaves of Lindsay dwell, is the enemy of all life fostered by Pulse's sacred hand. So Alfal C determined Pulse's will, chose Lissy and gave them a focus. Become Ragnarok and bring about the end of Cocoon. And so the beast arose, defeated Lindsay's hateful Valsi, and prepared to tear Cocoon apart. But her providence betrayed Alvasi, draining Ragnarok of strength. Their focus only half complete, the Lassie were taken to the enemy's land by Bartandalus, curse his name. And the goddess said, the sea who rest upon Cocoon will reawaken, however long they may wait. And Ragnarok will rise again, to tear the land from its seat in the sky. Her word is absolute. Congratulations, Harry. You've accessed the Marauder's map. Uh, Cocoon's done for, isn't it? Nay, hey, don't sweat it. If we go ahead and smash Cocoon, you know some make us sure to roll up and save the day. <laughs> as long as Fal C are around, this fight is never gonna end. So let's finish it. Let's get Dysley. So what do we do about Orphan? We help Orphan. What else can we do? If we can manage to keep it safe, another war breaks out somewhere down the road. We're Le Cie. It's not like we can make people stop fighting. Oh. Lightning. You told me on Cocoon. Gone in hope. It's not a question of can or can't. We just do it. Mm -hmm. That's our only choice this time. Maybe it won't do much. Maybe only one person will listen to us. But even then, isn't trying better than doing nothing? <laughs> because ripples can make waves. <laughs> okay, it's gone crazy. 
Revolutionaries always get cold crazy. <laughs> because ripples can make waves. When I was on Cocoon, I wished on those fireworks. We can use whales. Worlds. I wished to not let anything happen to Cocoon this time. But I shouldn't have wished for that. <laughs> Wishes aren't enough. Prayers either. This time I'm making a promise. I will keep Cocoon safe. I promise. No matter what. Guess it takes losing everything to make you see how much you have to fight for. Huh. And we're the only ones who can do it. Right? Right. <laughs> okay, Mum Killer, thanks. Good talk, Mum Killer. Alright then. Let's tie up loose ends. Okay. Right. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Sweet. We did it, chat. We got this far. Feels good, man. So, is this the part where the, the game's like, you know, don't go any further or you may, you know, regret it and be sad and full of misery and whatnot. I've yet to level up my Crystallarium, which I'm going to do in a second. We have so much XP to spend. This ship moved on to Cocoon. Are you sure you want to go there right now? Is that... Is this it, guys? Is this the point of... This must be it, right? You get in the ship and you fly away? So we have to decide if we want to go and do some extra content, or if we want to stay, uh, just stay on the path and just finish the game. Questions, questions, questions. Alright, while we're deciding, we will go into our Crystallarium and we will become mega strong. Mm. Why did Boomer give you a ship to sketch? I don't think Boomer brought the ship to you. Um, I think it just exists, but I could be wrong, I don't know, maybe he did. He probably just forgot about it, honestly, because he's old and stuff. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't actually know what the Pope was thinking. I'm gonna pick up some HP here. I value HP very highly. Stops me from getting one shot. Alright. Strength is quite nice as well, though. I'm gonna pick up this. We're gonna pick up this. 1800 or 18,000 HP. For these HP nodes. Ridiculous. A lot of strength is obviously important for lightning, but I'll pick it up in a minute. I would much rather get around to the uh, commando upgrade. 40 strength there. That's pretty good. Okay, cool. Um, Ravager. Can you learn anything here, lightning? What we got? Uh, Thundaga. That's obviously important, so we'll go for these. Army of one. I don't know what that does, but we'll check it out. Pick up this. Big buffs here. Like, mega buffs. Uh, unleash a devastating flurry of blows. Chain bonus effects varies by situation. What else have we got around here? Magic, HP. So not, not much in terms of, like, raw buffs. I could give myself a bunch of HP if I go that way. What have we got in the medic tree? So let me check this out real quick. Um, is there any spells? What is that? Stop Aga or Stop Aga? Res water inks coming in with the thousand bits. Yo, water inks, what's up? That was a uh, rather ham salad, but I'll take it. Holy shit! <laughs> a thousand bits, just uh, yikes, dude. What the hell? Water inks, thank you for that. That was uh, insane. Holy shit. Sorry guys, I've been like so out of the uh, out of the moment just doing my my leveling. I get a bit sidetracked. Holy shit, we have guys. I I keep saying this, but we have received so many bits this week. It's actually like that's a big 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 donation. Thank you for that. Much much love. Show love one thousand. Hey, GGS. Thank you, thank you guys. Holy moly. Going back to the infinite alarm planet says Ryan. I mean, we might be. Yeah, uh, we might be. GG's, GG's. Yo, thank you for that warrant. That was a massive out of the blue donation. Thanks. Keep seeing what you can do before going on the ships. This sketch. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. There's uh, branches you skipped over in Ravager mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I know there was extra branches, but like, I'm trying to see if there's like things like this to pick up first. Reset all enemy and ally ATB gauges, cancelling pending actions. 
Is that good? I don't think I want that. I guess, uh, well, can she cast that on the enemy? And just, like, not affect us? I think when it means allies and allies, like, enemies and allies, I don't think it means all together. I think it means, like, like, one or the other, right? It's kind of crazy. Um, shit, I don't know what to do. I'm going to take this HP. For a magic. Everyone. What, it means like you cast it and it casts on everybody in the fight? Or does it mean like you can target... Does it mean you can target individuals? Being everyone? Or does it mean it casts it on everybody all at once? So, super strong. Now, go for uh, a big bad fight. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know if we have the HP to withstand some of the damage from these big enemies. I guess we go that way. Sheesh. We're running up XP here. What else does Lightning have? A bunch of strength, waiting. 150 HP. I think that HP is more valuable. Because it stops you from literally dying. 12,000 for that. Okay, we got a lot of stuff there. Sushi, you were saying about branches in here. We got that one. This is obviously a ton of stuff available. Hmm. Just missing a couple of strength nodes here. Holy moly. Alright. It resets the field like Dispelga. Hmm. I don't know if I want that though. Like, is that actually is that actually good? Uh, Commando, what we got here for Saz? Runega? Sure, let's pick this up. Alright, magic. Into HP. Into this. So, wait, this skill tree doesn't seem that great. It's gonna ravage her first. I wanna build the stagger bar as fast as possible with Saz. Because of his stagger maintenance perks. We'll come back for that magic in a bit. Make sure we pick up HP. I don't know if this is exactly necessary, but I'll do it anyway. What we got over here? Cold blood. Unleash a devastating volley of gunfire. Chain bonus effects varied by situation. That's good. Don't exactly know what procs it, but we'll take it for sure. Alright. Saz is actually way behind in terms of, like, damage compared to Lightning and Co, but he doesn't actually have a lot of, like, big buffing spells. And he's also balanced with his magic. Give him some strength here to make him a little bit more powerful. And I'll take that 100 HP node as well. Let me have a look at his synergy stuff real quick. It could out with nerfing your enemies and unnerfing you. Yeah, I guess so. Is the AI clever enough to know when to do that, though? Hey, Saz can learn Protect. Raise the target's physical resistance. So now Hope and Saz can do that. Which is interesting. Alright, I'm gonna take this. Alright, 100 HP here, 90 HP here. Take him over 99, 499 magic here. Yeah. Alright. Ton of stuff we could do. Stop Ega as well. I think we go for that. What else was there in here? Nothing. Just a ton of HP available for a lot of these rolls. I don't want him to lose damage though. It's just I want him to not get one shot by the big fights that are available in the game. It's all about, like, we have such a buff-oriented role that, like, all I need is for, like, Lightning to do the damage and everybody else to just survive. 
via Hope's heals. So I'm just trying to give everybody as much HP as I can so that they're not as uh, not as squishy. Oh, are you on the red wine now? You're getting fucking smashed tonight, I can see. Uh, what time is it just now? It's half seven. Well, can we can we wait like half an hour? We're nearly done here, and then we'll be we'll be Gucci. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much for that. Sweet. I think Mrs. Wolfie's hammered, guys. I don't know what to do. Send help. Commando. Um, that's ten thousand. I can afford that. What did we just finish? Was it the Ravager tree? So Ravager's finished for Saz. Synergist. Do I want HP or do I want the damage? Thank you. I think I want the... I think I want the damage. I think. And then Saz. Okay, that is Saz done. Um, so the only person left is Hope. Let me see here. I like the unlock and send effect. That's quite satisfying, Sketch. It's pretty chill. You have two options now go and do as many side quests as you want or beat the game, unlock uh, rank 10, and make, uh, come back to do the post game. Hmm. Saz has half the strength of lightning, but he also has a lot of magic and stuff. And Saz is ultimately, so Saz is like, yeah, he doesn't have the raw damage of lightning, but lightning has two strength buffing accessories, where Saz is more like utility stuff. So I've given Saz stuff to make him move faster at the start of the fight. He's not there for like the damage. That's lightning's job. Saz is more like the kind of uh, support character, I guess. He just needs to buff the team as fast as possible. So he has stuff to help him do that, and then he's got HP to help him survive. That's all he does. Uh, anything that improves the stagger bar obviously as well is insane for Saz, but I uh, hope we want to give as much magic damage as, as possible too, so that his heals and his magic is, is powerful. So like, 32 magic is insane. We've got Kuraja here, let's see what this does. Restores HP targets in range proportional, uh, proportional to amount of damage each has taken. That seems kind of busted. Uh, is there anything else up here that's worth my time? There's a bunch of health nodes. And um, for the most part, that's hope kind of done here. We'll give him some magic and some strength here. Quest 55 will help with XP. I've told you guys I can't do Quest 55 until I do some of the other ones, I don't think. Unless it's the one that you were talking about. You said Quest 55 was in the schoolhouse sushi, right? But when I went to the schoolhouse, it was like knocked on its side. I don't know if I can actually do it. <laughs> Help sending failed. Hide the shovel. I like the unlock and send effects, this sketch. Serenity so, says, join her, obviously. Oh, I have, yeah. She's brought me through the biggest glass of wine I've ever seen in my fucking life. Wine drunk is best drunk, says Jcram. Dude, I thought she was going to crash into the fucking the door when she came in there. Um, Alright, I'm going to pick up this. I don't know if that was actually worth my time or not. Here's 160 HP, followed up by 150 HP. I'm, I'm gonna grab this for sure. Two magic nodes that are quite cheap, so I'm not gonna pick those up. I'm gonna go magic into HP, into magic plus 40. And then we're gonna chill uh, Synergist. What have you got here, Hope? Okay, we'll pick up some magic stats here. Take this and this. Um, what are you? Haste. Oh, haste is insane, dude. Haste is insane. If Hope and Sass can start off the fight by double hasting to get those out as quickly as possible, then that's just like... That's winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, ton of magic here. Stop, stop, go as well. Yeah. Is it stop, a go? Stop, go? Stop, go. Quite literally. Sounds a bit guffy. All right, I'm gonna give him HP and a magic and a magic. 
Karaja. You've unlocked it now. The prerequisite was 14 in the uh, rank 9 Crystallarium. Ah, okay. We could go back and have a look for sure. Alright, magic here for 40. 200 HP is excellent. And then another 40 magic on top of that. That's kind of crazy. I don't have a lot left. This is 20k XP for that health mode. I don't think I want to do that just yet. Strength not as important. Ravager, what have we got here? Alright, I don't have a lot to work with here because we spent it on a lot of stuff. We've got last resort. Deal magic damage within wide radius. Change bonus varies by situation. I mean, that sounds good if I can get to it. Yeah, maybe. Oh, fucking hell. I don't know. It's going to be close. Yeah, we, we just get it in time. Alright, with 1300 to spare. We've got a nice uh, 130 juicy HP sitting here waiting for 10k XP, which is not bad. Uh, I would quite like that if I'm being honest, but we've got most of the buffs that we need by this point of the game, which is good. That is all our XP spent. I wish my my characters were a little bit more tanky, but everybody's kind of insane now. So, Lightning and, and Saz have 6,700 HP. Uh, Hope is obviously a lot squishier, but we could maybe give him things to combat that. Lightning, once I give her another piece of equipment, will actually go up in HP as well, by the way. Lightning can get an extra, like... 450 at least, which uh, is going to make her really, really tanky. Um, in terms of raw stats, Lightning has 1,200 strength and 1,000 magic, which is obviously crazy, but she does again have two strength buffing items on her. Saz is mixed, he's 648, so he's very, very weak in terms of raw damage, but um, again, Saz is more for... He's more there to kind of set the team up with buffs and stuff like that and just be a quick character, so... Although his damage is kind of lackluster, he's he's not bad. Obviously, Hope's pretty insane as well at this point. Hope has 1,700 magic, um, which is just crazy. And his item isn't even fully upgraded yet as well, which is a bit bonkers. We can maybe even have a look at doing that just now, actually. And just kind of min-maxing him a little bit. Alright, so if we go back to the school house, you guys are saying that there's a last quest we could do. that gives us a good item, so we might go ahead and do that really quick. G2 deciding to int a fight. That's nice, says Silly Fierce. What's up, Silly? Um, who are G2 playing against uh, this week, guys? They'll be on the Redemption arc after last week's 0-2 uh, performance. Let me go on uh, Hope's item here really quickly, guys. Uh, where is it? I always forget the name of it. This one. Can I give this anything to buff it? Tears of Remorse. 11 of these. Boom. There's times two, that's good. Tier of Woe. There we go. What have we got in here? Anything useful? Platinum ingots. A bar of refined platinum can be sold for a premium. So that's something we would sell. Same with the gold nugget and the Moogle puppet. Um, Ultra compact reactor. Jesus. 96,000? What? We only need about four times six. Roughly. Four sixes are 24, so I only need roughly 24,000. Superconductor could be good here. Yeah, do we go all in on our superconductors? That's 10,000. Yeah, I think we go all in on this. Oh, that's only, wait, hold on, that's only 3,000. What am I talking about? Particle accelerator. So I need like a few more of these. But I think I could do that just now, watch. If I go into here and I go into the shop, we're going to make some money here. Sell. Sell components. We're going to sell the golden nugget here for 60k. Platinum ingot sells for 150 grand. What the fuck, dude? We just got so fucking rich. How is that worth so much fucking money? Ridiculous. Uh, we could actually potentially upgrade Saz's weapon if we wanted to now. Holy crap. Um, or maybe we can actually. I think his uh, Dark Matter is 840,000. I can't afford it. I can't afford this. That would be cool though. Hmm. Saz's weapon is the only gun we haven't upgraded yet, but we're so far away from being able to afford that. Doesn't mean we can't get unprepared though. Uh, I need to go back in there actually. 
No, I want to go to the R&D depot. I'm going to buy particle accelerators. I'm going to buy, like, three of these. We're going to get this to max level now. Where are they? Do, 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 do. Alright. Oh wait, what am I doing here? Oh, those are already maxed. It's Hope that I'm working on. Jack, focus. Alright, so... Again, I need roughly, like... I think this thing goes up to like 20... Maybe it goes up to like 25 or something, I don't know. But if it's 6 times 4, we need roughly 24. So, I'll put 3 in. Takes up to 21. So, uh, Hope just gained an extra, what is that, 35 magic? Not bad at all. Yo, Billy, what's up, dude? Mad Lions at the moment? So, what are they losing? Hmm. Isn't this game where you have a bunch of portals at the end and you can go everywhere before the final boss? Sketch, thank you for the follow, man. I appreciate that, my dude. I'm gonna drop a follow, Mr. Wolfie, but I gotta go have a fun stream, y'all. Sketch, thank you for uh, hanging out, man. You've been amazing, alright? Have a good evening. You can come back and visit us anytime you like. We most likely won't be doing too much more work today in Final Fantasy, guys, I think. But uh, let's try and get some of these last couple of quests, kind of have a look at a little bit. Uh, I should have sold this uh, Moogle earlier as well. Moogle Puppet 18k. Alright. I don't know how I'm going to afford what I need to upgrade Saz's weapons, but for the most part, we're a lot stronger now. Okay, I'm going to run back to the schoolhouse and we're going to try and do this quest. I don't know how difficult it's going to be, the one that Sushi's talking about, but I will have a look. We'll see how we can get on. We could try go back, go back and fight the Adamantoys if we wanted to. Um, that would give us like unlimited everything, pretty much, if we could beat it. What is this? It's so random. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Vanille. Um, if I actually just take some time to have a look at Vanille really quickly, I think we can learn Death now on Vanille, and if we can get that off in the Adamantoys, we would just need like double Sentinel with Vanille healing after death, and we could actually like do something really good there. Let me see, can she learn it? It's probably close, right? Is that it over there? Death, there it is. Okay, so, what Vanille would need is HP, bunch of magic, and this spell, and we would be able to kill the Adamantois. Yo, hey bro, seeing that you were streaming, just wanted to come by and say hello and show some love. Hey Phoenix, what's up my dude? How's the, how's the Saturday going, sir? Did I say Friday earlier when I was talking to the other guys? Whoops. Anyway, Phoenix, what's up, my man? Warm welcome to you, sir. How's the weekend? Let's go ahead and level this bad boy up. There we go. We'll take double HP for Vanille here. G2 getting dumpstered. G2 not looking too hot. Oh, no, guys, it's happening. <laughs> they can't be falling from grace, surely. Take 100 HP here. Alright, we gotta get around to these HP nodes for Vanille. She's gotta be tankier if she wants to fight the Adamantois. Give it. It's been fantastic! Nice one, dude! Also, why take Callista out? How does that work with Silas? Um, I don't know if Callista's been picked again, but um, Team Liquid picked. Uh, Callista last weekend in the LCS in North America, so there must be some reason why Callista's getting picked at the moment. But I don't know, I, I can't tell without watching the game, guys. I apologise. Uh, did Stranding Saturday earlier, then worked on my truck for a little while. Hey, nice, dude. That sounds awesome, man. How are you getting on, Phoenix? I've not actually spoken to you since. How, how have you been finding Death Stranding? Are you, are you still... I guess if you... You must have only done one Death Stranding stream since we last talked about it, right? How's that going for you, my dude? Are you are you getting are you getting okay? How has it been for you? It's been it's pretty sweet, yeah. Nice, nice. All right, cool. Yeah, no, man, we're we're doing grand, doing just grand. I wonder if we could just stop go on the uh, on the big guys once we put the curse on them. Interesting. All right, Vinny, you can take this. You can take that. 
And we'll give you 50 HP as well. Why the fuck not? S Ravager. No, we don't want that strength node. We just want to take you to the next level, please. Take this, into this, take 100 HP, why not? Oh, we can afford it, fuck. Alright, so Vanilla's kind of buffed, um, we could also spend a lot of time doing Saz, oh sorry, not Saz, but Snow as well. I bet you that's how you beat the big the big guys, Adam Antoys, if I had to try and guess without looking up a strategy. I bet you that's how you take them down. Excuse me sir, I have no interest in fighting you, thanks. Dude, really though? We unlock zip lines. All right, nice. What do you think of the zip lines so far, Phoenix? This is going to be a really obvious comment, but uh, a, a quick pointer, right? That uh, my tiny brain could not communicate um, when I was playing Death Stranding. Obviously, you think about the, the zip line. You think about all the resources that you need to do to, like, re I don't know, like when you build a, a station. You know how you put down the box and then. You can put resources into it if you're like building a road. For some reason, my brain thought that I had to do that with the zip lines, but it's not the case at all. Um, the zip lines you just require the PCM, or is it a PMC or something? You know the little box that you just uh, you use it to build all your stations and medic centers and repair tools and all that shit, or your repair stations. Just take whenever you go out on a journey, just take like three of those with you, and then like every so often, if you're going uphill, just plant a, a zip line that that reaches back to the last zip line. And you won't regret it, man. Lethal and non-lethal assault rifles and grenades as well. Uh, hem uh, hematic bullets for my guns. We're finding it pretty well. I am in the mountain, not city area. Okay. You would almost need to go climbing with only zip lines, ladders, and PCCs just to set up the zip lines. True, but the zip lines, like I said, you only need the PCCs to set them up. You don't actually like what I would do is let's say you've to go up into the mountains and you've never been up before, right? It's a, like a treacherous journey. I would just make sure that when I was going, I would take three PMCs, they're quite heavy, they're like 10 kilos each or something, right? I get that. But you take your, whatever equipment you're supposed to take, like uh, your parcels that you're supposed to be delivering, make sure you utilize, oh, I don't know if you've, you may not even have this yet. Maybe I shouldn't say it. You will get devices later on to help you carry stuff up mountains. In fact, no, yeah, maybe. Do you have the little floating device that follows you around, that it cables into you and it floats on the ground? Yeah. Yeah, 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 okay, the sleds, yeah. Okay, so when you take, make sure you use the sleds because those are like the most OP thing in the game. Uh, if anything, I, th I feel like they need a little bit nerfed. But just like pile like three C PCCs, four CCs, uh, four PCCs when you leave. And then when you're traveling up, just look back. Whenever you get into like a range of, I think it's like 150 meters or something, they can connect between each other or some shit. Just make sure you connect one to each as you go up. You don't have to do it, but trust me, you'll, you'll, I set up a, f a fair few when traveling and uh, I thanked myself later. GG, did, did G2 lose, Ryan? Did they lose? Surely not like this. Yeet. Oh no. To be fair guys, like, I know it's not, I mean, G2 got to the world finals, right, but like, Mad Lions are a pretty good team. Yeet. Fucking yeet. <laughs> you can ride them downhill and shit too. The sleds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I, <laughs> I actually didn't do a lot of that with the sleds. Um, I know you can kind of like snowboard them or whatever. I never actually did that that much of those. But I did, I did try it. Um... I never thought about actually riding them downhill, actually. Maybe I missed out on a really valuable tool. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there you go. I think the chat's kind of chilling right now. They're all doing their own thing. Some of, some of the chat's playing games. Some of them are watching the LCS. Uh, the Pro League of Legends scene. I guess technically it's LEC. But they chilling. 
Are you drinking out of a fancy ass wine glass? No, dude, no. It's, it's anything but fancy. These glass, <laughs> these glasses were like probably like five bucks for four of them or something. We bought these from a very cheap place whenever uh, when me and Mrs. Wolfie moved into our flat together. It was it was very very straightforward. I didn't intend to be drinking wine this evening though. That was Mrs. Wolfie's. Uh, she's leveraging me, guys. What can I do? What can a man do? But, uh, right, we're going to try and do this quest, guys, and then we're going to probably chill. We have not been streaming for very long today, but it was uh, supposed to be quite a short stream, if I'm being honest. So this is not the schoolhouse. The schoolhouse is uh, background here, I think. You can actually dodge past these guys if you're quick enough. Nice. Um, here's the door. Give me the door. Is it all the way back? I don't even know if I've completed this yet, by the way. I don't even know where my level 55 mission is, Sushi. I don't think it's available to me. I'm going back the way and I don't see it on the map. There is no active stones here, unless it's like... Maybe it's that one? No, that's one we've completed already. I am running back here, Sush, but like, I don't even see... Did I miss it? Did I miss... Did I run past it? I don't see it on my map. Mm -hmm. She's seducing you? She might be. Who knows? I'm off for the night, says Jesse. Thanks for the stream and enjoy the rest of your evening, y'all. Yo, yo, skill tree. Thanks for hanging, man. Take it easy. I wonder why it's not showing up. Hmm. Maybe I just need to be closer or some shit? I don't get it. Let me Google it really quickly. Um, is it Mission 55? Is that right? First of all, do I have it available to me? No, I haven't even found it yet, apparently. Um, FF13 Mission 55. Let's check it out. How do I access Mission 55? Says the Final Fantasy 13 Q&A. Um, it unlocks after completing missions 1 to 7. And I read that in order to unlock. You have to complete... Number 14. Have we done missions 1 to 7? We might have missed one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, but it still isn't unlocked. Did I do something wrong? Uh, I completed chapter 11 and decided to go back before completing chapter 12 and it still didn't work. Did mine just glitch or what? I completed mission 14, defeated Bartandlis, and I've been in the deserted schoolhouse, but the mission never showed up. After investigating the issues through the gameplay, it's clear that the three actions that must be completed are Number 14, uh, done. Defeat Bartandalus, done. Enter the rooftop garden of the deserted schoolhouse. I've done all this and I still can't access it. Look at my enemy dialogue, the last orphan hasn't been ticked off, so I assume I have to defeat it again? To add an answer to this, if you go near the flower pots right next to the sea stone and see the examine sign, then you won't be able to access the stone at all. I was stuck for two days trying to work out how to access the stone, a definite glitch. I think we might have glitched it. If you go near the flower pots right next to the stone and see the examine sign while making your way to the mission, you won't be able to access the stone. Is that right? Have we glitched the game? Mission 55 likely has some missions other than the ones you've completed that must be prior to being available. I would think that one of uh, more of missions 36 through 53 are the likely suspects. That's got a lot of down votes though. Um, make sure you're not going to the sea stone where you fought Bartandalus. That is the last mission. Um, it's the stone at the abandoned schoolhouse. So it's the little greenhouse area, right? Let's go back to the greenhouse then. I know where that is. Maybe it glitched out. Um, That's okay though. We don't have to fret too much about it. Uh, hmm. So do I need to go back through the way? I think I need to go back, right? No, wait. The schoolhouse is really close. It's down here. 
So, I think that when it says schoolhouse, I think it means like the greenhouse area, which is right here, right? See that balcony there? I think that's the stone, you see it? I think that's it there. Let's go try it. Looks like an A rank mission. Uh, are you guys going to get in my way? Oh! Okay. Maybe I could actually dodge those guys if it was a bit more nimble on my feet there. Oops. Thanks. Nice, Sue. Trash games, says <laughs> Jcram. Jay, how's the. Uh, are you been playing Overwatch, Jay? What's up, man? I'm, uh, Jay, I will jump on Overwatch tonight uh, if you're around. Do you have tomorrow off as well, Jay? Is that right? You're off Sundays, right? And you took Friday, Saturday off? If you're off tomorrow, Jay, I'll be down for some. Uh, I'm down for some Overwatch tonight. Yeah, I'm off. Fuck yes. All right, nice. All right, cool. I'm down for some games later if you if you fancy it. If you don't mind carrying my fat ass. <laughs> We're gonna. Mrs. Wolfie's gonna be ordering some snacks soon. In fact, I should probably go and do that now. Actually, don't let me die, chat. I'm gonna go into medic mode. Don't let me die. Thanks. I'm here. Are we still alive? Is everybody alive? My team's alive. Oh no, Kendall's back. Hello, bro. Men! Exclamation mark. Me bits 10. Kendall, you alright there? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. How's things with you? Um, Give me one second, guys. I'm just sorting out some uh, delivery costs for Mrs. Wolfie's uh, for the snacks and stuff. I'll be back in a wee second. Kendall, you behave yourself. I'm watching you. Welcome.
Alright. Sorry guys, that was an absolute riot. What did I miss? Hey, I'm back. Welcome Leaf. I'm also back. Sorry about that folks. Um, I'll play. If you look in Discord, that's where it should be. Uh, let me see. Let me have a look right now, guys. Come on, you fucking gypsy. Trash game. Yeah, I'm off. I'll play. I'm back. Welcome. Had to go do some yard work, says Gajin. Well, welcome back, guys. Um, he does know there's a pause button. Yeah, I know, but my characters were just wailing on the enemy, doing fine, just, just grand. Um, welcome back, Leaf. Kendall, I don't know what's going on with your comments in the chat, but I hope you're having a fantastic night, Kendall. Right, uh... Let's go and try- oh wait, actually, Billy, you just said in the Discord you linked it, right? I got you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go here, and then we go back to here. Alright, nice. That's where we are. We're actually in that spot. We just need to get up to the roof without getting in a fight here. Oh god. So apparently it's this stone here. Yeah, it is activatable. That's good. Nice. Okay. Uh, we have to go all the way back to the steep. So that's why Billy's map that he sent me on Discord shows as pushing me back to this orange marker over here. Because we have to go back to the plains. This is an A mission, an A rank mission, so it might be quite tough. But maybe we'll get rewarded for it. Alright, we did it, chat. We ordered some food, we're gonna go head up this place and hopefully uh, get some extra shit done. I don't know what the reward is for doing this quest, but we'll do it anyway. You guys seem to be assuming that it's pretty decent, so I'll trust. Alright, thanks for all the help. This enemy is okay to dodge past, he does actually walk over to the left. Alright, we get you. Get away from me, you freaky bitches. Oof. We're good, guys. We're good. <laughs> yeah, team, we're fine. Ginormous zombie hand tries to slap my ass in the way past. Can you just not? Alright, to the steep we go. Let's get it. Teleport back to the steep. Alright. Growth egg, double CP if person wearing it is in the party. I don't know where to find a growth egg though. I don't think I have any of those. Oh, that, wait, Billy, is that the reward? So we beat this. Ah. Yeah, that would make things insane. Holy shit, that's the reward. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Nice, nice, nice. So that's why Sushi was recommending it. Okay, A rank mission. We'll see if we can actually beat it. We should be able to, I would imagine, at this point. Uh, where are we going in the plains? All the way over there. That's fine though. We can take a chocobo. Maybe the chocobo will even help us find treasure along the way, generating us more money, perhaps. Every time we sit, find a nugget, it gets us closer to like better upgrades, so I'm down for that. The only thing I feel bad about is we have a ton of upgradable items that we just haven't used in the in the game yet, and that kind of stresses me out a little bit because it feels inefficient. Is that weird? Do you guys ever get like that sometimes when you're playing video games? Right here, right here, right here. Right, I need to access this, but uh, there we go. Nice. Alright, find me something good, Chocobo. Don't let me down. I don't want a Chocobo plume. It's going to be a Chocobo plume, isn't it? Did you ever do the mission for removing the next red blockade? I do not know, Kajin. I don't know what the mission would have been. If you tell me what number it is, I can look at my mission list really easily and identify if we have done it or not, but... Um, I am not sure, mate. I think I've found this treasure already. It was over here last time. It's probably the same one. Is it in the same same spot as last time? It is. Nice. Mm -hmm. An accessory gives the whole party double AP. That's pretty insane. Alright, that does not look like a gold nugget. That's some sort of... Something else. An entity ring. Okay, I mean, I guess we could sell that if we wanted to. I think we actually have a couple of Entite Tiaras, which are obviously insane. Alright, 
right, hopefully we can defeat this monster. And then what, you guys think that we should try and fight it? Do you think we should try and fight the turtle, guys, with Vanille? I don't think we're strong enough. But you never know. Maybe we are. I don't know how many tries at death we have to try and get to spam. Like, if, if Vanille casts death on him, I don't know how long the death counter counts for. Is it 30 seconds we have to survive? Because we could do double sentinel and a healer and just try and survive that way. Or double healers, one sentinel. I don't know, that seems a bit like a bad idea. I think it's mission 30. We have done... We have not done mission 30, but we've found it. It is right next to the barrier, actually, so that kind of makes sense, Kajin. Yeah. I saw you accept the mission yesterday, but I can't remember if it was completed. No, we didn't do it. I think I abandoned it. Is there any treasure around here? What? Oh, what the hell is that? Is that our mark? Look at this monster! What the fuck, dude? What the hell is this creature? Are we even... Dude, we can handle this. I believe. I believe we can handle this. I'll tell you what we'll do, just in, just in case. Why don't we go ahead and put the uh, Platinum Bingo on Lightning Giscovera? Tiny smidge room for mistakes, you know? Alright, maybe I could have started this fight using a buff with the stagger or whatever. I... Jesus Christ! Yeah, no, we can't fight this. No. <laughs> what the fuck was that, dude? What? Wait, what? What just happened? He's a pain in the ass because he can summon more of the tiny monsters. Um, yeah, sure. I don't know if I can beat this, guys. I'm gonna need some heals ASAP or I'm gonna die. Uh, we need heals, hey. Oh, please. Hope just died. Can I summon here? What's this fight, dude? How am I supposed to survive that? Serenity says, I'm heading off. Enjoy your evening. Big love to all. Serenity, big love to you and your cat and everyone else in Serenity's life. Have a good one. Thank you for hanging. I knew this was meant to be hard, but oof. Dude, how is one... We've almost actually unlocked just alt mode. Oh god, Onan is getting fucking fisted. I need to get as much damage off as I can here. Odin, do damage, you crazy motherfucker. We do this, this is looking a bit ugly, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if this is winnable. If he summons more of the little snargle off puffs, we might be uh, we may be in a spot of bother. Alright, pony boy, save me. Holy f Dude, he just one shots lightning as soon as the fight starts. Uh, let's do Thunderfall. I think that's AoE, right? If I can kill these, we might be able to make room for ourselves, but... I don't know if this is going well or not. I don't think it is. Oh my god, we almost staggered him, but not quite. Oh. Until next time. Uh, can we? Yeah. Can you um? Can you heal me, hope, please, before we die? Thanks, man. I haven't even been able to attack him yet. I'm pretty sure Hope is about to die. I can't even survive the pygmy puffs. No, dude. We can't fight that. Dude, A rank? Are you kidding me? That guy kicked the shit out of me. 
I wonder if I need a sentinel for that fight to survive his burst. But even if I have a sentinel, I feel like we're just getting chunked super fast. Hmm. That's a bad see. This is the tougher version of this monster. You find easier one during time trials. He's hard, guys. I don't think I can beat him. I don't think I can beat that right now. There's a strong possibility we could fight the Adamantoids, though. The baby one. Not the big one. The baby one. Should we go try it? Do I have a piece of equipment? Platinum Bangle. Let's try it, guys. Let's see how we hold up, hold our own against the uh, the big boy at this, at this stage of the game. I still feel like we're going to get our ass blasted, but we could try it anyway. We'll go fight the baby one that's sticking out of the little, the little ledge, shall we? I remember the uh, Mikrochu? Mikrochu? Mikrochu, I don't know. Mikrochu? Being fucking busted in 13-2. Titan's Trails have missions 35 to 51 and several of the monsters that appear there in later missions only get stronger. Oh, they appear in later missions but only stronger, okay. No doubt, uh, no double CP for you, yeah, no. Lame guys, I wasn't, I wasn't tanky enough. We've got HP buffs on Lightning to try and keep her alive in that, but uh, we weren't even able to kill the baby things in front of him. We weren't able to even kill the baby things. All right, I'll tell you what, let's head for the guy who is defending a creature. There's normally a treasure thing that appears around here, watch this. So if I head round here, there is one of these guys that sticks out of an alcove and there is an item in front of him. If we can defeat him, we get the XP and the item. It's not that guy, is it? Where is it? He's hiding. Come on, you little bitch. That guy. This guy. Alright, maybe we can fight him. Probably not, if I was to hazard a guess. If we can't defeat the, the last thing, I don't know how we can beat this, but we could try it anyway. Right, Chocobo, you've been fantastic, mate. Hold up there. Right, there is a strong, strong, strong possibility that uh, Vanille just gets absolutely fucking dumpstered in this fight, but we could try it. I will need a Sentinel for this fight. Um, whether, probably Snow, if I'm being honest, because we're not trying to kill this thing, we're just trying to survive. So probably Snow. Um, I haven't changed my team in so long, but we will try it now. Let's bring across Snow and Vanille. Vanille is obviously a key component. Who do I want as my main party leader though? Like Saz maybe? For haste? Saz is actually really tanky as well. What about if I do it like this? And I will change all that in a minute, but first of all I need to do the crystal leading with Saz. Watching a guide as double sab sentinel. He just tries to spam death with Vanille, yeah. Okay, that's what I was expecting. Uh, we haven't actually leveled up Snow in so fucking goddamn long. This is gross. So I guess we could have um, Fang as the other person, maybe? I'm doing this, but honestly, I don't even know if we're going to fucking... All right, I'll grab that. That strategy is somewhat exactly what I was thinking, Billy, but um, instead of double, I was gonna run Synergy, Sentinel, Saboteur, but maybe that fails, I don't know. I thought putting haste on the party would be really important because then Vanille could just spam it. Okay, so we need just, just need as much HP as possible. That's not what, I, I didn't even try and do that, hello? All right, we'll get HP here. How long does the death, see when he actually gets death on the creature, Billy, how long does the death take to kill him? Like what's the timer, is it 30 seconds? Snow, Vanille, Hope, Hope heals are the best, yeah that's what I'm running. Uh, on in fact I've got Saz actually. We could maybe run Hope though. Vanille is the main, she only uses death, yeah. Belladonna might be useful. I don't know if that is the, that might be the one that I have. I think that makes your debuffs more successful, right? I think actually that's the one that Vinyl has, which would be really convenient. Alright, Snow, you've got pretty much all the 
8 HP I can give you, my man. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. See what we can do as a Ravager. Oh, this is exhausting. Uh, sure, let's go this way. Vanille is the main, yeah. So we make Vanille cast death on it non-stop. Alright, let's see if we can get it, guys. As much HP as possible so that we don't die. We'll take that for sure. We're actually running out of uh, XP on snow faster than I was expecting. Dude, this motherfucker gets so tanky, it's actually unreal. Yeah. Death instant kills. Oh, so it's just a case of like trying to get it off ASAP. As soon as the big boy dies, he summons with Vanille to clear up the others. He summons with Vanille. Oh, wait, is there more after you kill him? We're only going to be fighting one on his own. Maybe... Does he bring it more stuff or something? I don't know. Commando. Alright, that's snow completely maxed out. Um, Vanille, you've got... We want to give Vanille as much HP as possible. Otherwise, we're just going to lose. Um... Not that one. No. We've given her as much HP as we can there. Medic? There was a HP node close to one of these, was there not? There's 200 HP over there. But I can't get to it. In fact, I can't even afford anything with Vanille. Uh, Vanille's equipment, she has the Belladonna wand. You guys are saying that, yeah. For the extra, the extra damage. Okay, so, cool. So, if I wanted to do this properly... Uh, first of all, battle team, we gotta make Vanille important. You guys are saying hope for the heals. Like that. I could see that being a thing. The only thing is now, what we have to do is change our equipment around a little bit and then we'll reset our paradigms as well. So, what about if I remove. Yeah, I'm gonna remove this from Saz. Aurora Scarf, we already have another one off, so I can leave Saz for the most part. Uh, Lightning, what do you have again? Roller Wristband. Platinum Bango, no, I think we're alright. I don't think we have to really change much of our equipment here, if I'm being honest. We just need to give Snow resistance to damage. So, for example, let's give Snow... Uh, I don't know if this thing does physical... I think it does physical damage, right? We need to give him the... Physical resistance by nine. What, what about if we just give him two of those, actually? So he he resists, like, all damage by, like, 15%. That's actually pretty insane with his HP. We don't need to give him any extra damage. We just need to give him HP. So let's give him, like, the gold bangle, sure. And then Vanille. We can upgrade you to the platinum. Oh, no, that's already... Yeah, we'll give you the platinum bangle. The platinum bangle. Magician's Mark, I guess. We just need her to attack faster, actually, so I probably could give her the Scarf. All oh, Elemental Resistances, D-Brave, Occasionally Casts, no, 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 no. <coughs> Excuse me, does he do the Earth? <coughs> does this thing do Earth damage to us? I don't know. Um, yeah, Aurora Scarf, fully charges her, so as soon as she goes, we can just get right in the bow and do stuff immediately. Okay, so... Excuse me, guys. I apologize. Uh, maybe Hope actually might have enough to give himself a, a, a tiny bit more HP because I'm scared about these guys just getting absolutely wrecked as soon as the fight fucking starts. Um, yeah, like 130. That's pretty good. Can I afford that? Perfect. All right. Hope just got a big buff. That's good. Um, paradigms. Customize. So we obviously want to start her off in saboteur mode and then you need to be in sentinel to reduce damage and hope needs to be... I guess he could start synergy? Or do we just want him medic from the start maybe? Um, so once the death just instant kills right so... Maybe I could have like a, some sort of synergy roll? I don't think it's going to matter though. And then medic, medic, sentinel, sure. Not that we're going to need that. 
what do you guys think? We looking alright? Rotate between Sab, Sen, Sab, Sab, Sen, Med, with Vanille, Hope, Snow. I mean, for the Mission 55 guy to clear up the Annoying Balls of Fury. Oh, I got you. I got you. I thought we were talking about the Adamantoise fight. Sorry. So she says, this reminds me of prepping for the Adamantoise fight in Final Fantasy XV only to be glitched out or out the arena. So I went back and used the ring to cast death on it. Nice. Belladonna is good, but only uh, but if you can upgrade it to Marlboro Wand, it's better. I'd say upgrading it to Nirvana, but you don't have the material, Siska Jean. Um, for the time being, I think, for this fight alone, I don't expect us to succeed in this, guys, but if it does work, then it works. I don't know it, what the chances of death succeeding is, but, um, I mean, if we get it first try, we get it first try, am I right? Uh, in terms of actual equipment on Snow, what does he have? Improved Guard? Yeah, sure. Fuck it. Alright, let's try it. We could try and cast other stuff to, like, like haste or something would be cool. Let's just do it. If it works, it works, guys. If not, it doesn't work. Let's just try. Uh, abilities. Um, where is death? I'm wasting so much time. Okay, I guess we try again. Go on. Oh! Did that work? Alright. We're sustaining. Dude, we are so tanky. Come on, kill his ass, dude. I need haste, I think. Haste would allow me to do, do a lot faster. Fuck! What is this guy? Is this guy resistant to death? <laughs> wouldn't the ring take hours to kill the Manta? Uh, wouldn't the ring take hours to kill the other Mantis in Final Fantasy? Final Fantasy 15? No, 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 no. What are you doing? Bay. Oh no. We've just been. We've just been dehasted. How is this doing damage? <laughs> Come on, kill his ass, dude. I think it's 8%. That's alright, 8% is a good number. Dude, I'll take those odds. 10 times? We just need to try 10 times? I think we can do it. I think we can do it, chat. 8% is not a bad figure at all. If it was 1%, I'd be hating life, but 8 I can deal with, dude. Go on, Vanille. Fuck him up. But dude, we're sustaining, dude. This is an infinite win. You can't kill us. We're too tanky. The noise it makes is fucking horrendous, though. Here are things you can do. Uh, Vanille's Belladonna Wand improves debuffing. And stick other debuffs on him. 1% for each additional one. Oh, so we can debuff him with other things? Have more than one saboteur in the party. The buffs should have at this point should stick our D-Protect D-Shell and Imperil. So wait, hold on. If I, like, if I use, like, poison on this guy... Would that increase my chances of getting death off, maybe? Oh, dude, that didn't, that didn't work either. We're alright, we're alright. He hasn't done anything to threaten us yet. <laughs> Trying to get this fucker to take any damage, any kind of debuff is insane, dude. He's a buff, he's a buff guy. D shell, imperil, D protect, go, 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 do something. Just land anything, Vanille. Now there's an instant death spell on the ring. That's why you run double sab, so Hope can apply debuffs to increase his percentage chance. <gasps> there we go. We got one debuff on him. Come on. Dude, not even a drop of sweat, dude. He, he can't even touch us. Is he getting closer, though? Does he kill us when he reaches us? I don't think he is, right? I should probably just... There's two debuffs. That's pretty good. Alright, I'll go with that. Fuck it. Death. Let's go. Kill his ass! Come on! <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> this is the one, guys. This is it. 
Are we sure he's not resist? Are we? He's definitely not resistant to this, is he? Oh, we got him! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Alright, nice. We only got 4,000 XP for that fight, though. Why does he only give 4,000 XP? Do you think we can kill the Adamantoys? The smaller Adamantoys can be death, but at a low chance. What about the big Adamantoys? Can we death him? Hey, we got him. Yeah, so Hope applies debuffs and then Vanille only spams death. I get it, I get it. Alright! Got him. A golden nugget. We did all that for fucking sixty k. Nice turtle kill. We got him in the end, boys. So wait, is the does the adamantoys? Does he um? Can we cast death on this guy? What do you guys think? Can we kill? Can we kill Big Joe here? I've never ever killed one of these in my entire life. Can we? Can we kill it? Is this thing immune to death? Chat. Yes or no. Do it. Kill it. I don't know if we can. He's going to do so much more damage. Pretty sure you can't. We can Libra him and check, right? He's probably going to kill me um, before I even get the opportunity, but there's a save machine right here, I guess. That's pretty cool. Don't trust anything I say. No, you're fine. We could give it a go. Surely they would put a debuff. Like, surely the Adamantois would come, like, protected from death, right? Surely they would take they would put that in the game, right? Let's find out. <laughs> Don't kill me! <laughs> Please mercy! <laughs> Do I even bother casting Libra? I think so, right? How much damage are you gonna do to me, buddy? Maybe I can like uh, stop his ass. Is it really over? Wait! <laughs> this wasn't part of the plan. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Come on, man! Really? I think we can kill it with death. Dude, I'm gonna try. We just need to hit it first time. Wait, where did he go? Where, where the fuck did he go? Go back. You just got breathed on. Did he fuck this up? Wait, is that the baby one? That's the baby one, right? Where's the big boy? Oh, the big boy's all the way fucking over there. Hmm. He spanked us. Hey, said no. A guide says you have to break his legs before you can do it. Break his legs? Don't remember death spamming. I don't think, yeah, uh, I don't <laughs> We can't even survive one hit from this boy. Hey, amigo. You alright? Let's try it. Let's try it once. I think we've got enough time to get one death off. I think we've got enough time to get one off, right? Kill him! Oh yeah, his leg! You don't actually target his face, you just target- <laughs> We died, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> you, cannot, you have to target his legs. Interesting. You have to break his legs, that's a bit fucked up, isn't it? Alright, well, the good news is we killed the little guy. This guy is not uh, not to be fucked with, though. He is... He just one-shots us. I don't know how much damage his steps do, but the vanilla and stuff can't... They can't take it. Even with the buffs. Let's see if we survive with buffs. Vanilla and Hope just get fucking KI... <laughs> they just get fucking insta-blasted, dude. Uh, maybe I can stop him. Can I stop? All targets. Does that work? Right, Kill his leg, dude. Dude, imagine that work. Why is he not moving? Right, oh god. Oh, we survived! We're alive, chat. D-shell, poison, and peril. Nah, no, fire him. I'm trying to kill his leg, dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Vanille, are you trolling? Get the death off. Come on. Death death the leg. I don't think the leg could be deathed. Uh-oh. Oh, we're alive, dude. Oh, we can debuff the leg, though. 
This is it, chat. This is the comeback. Hope, would you hurry up with the fucking buffs, bruh? Oh, no! No, Hope, no! <laughs> you were so young. Alright, that might be, uh, that may be curtains, guys. It may be curtains. It's a 1% chance on him. Dude, I'ma take it, dude. I like those odds. Right, Vanille, you got about one second, mate. Max 7% if you can debuff him enough. Go do the strat with the Mission 55 guy. You think so? I don't think we survive um, against the Mission 55 guy, guys. Guy, guy, guy. Where's the nearest chocobo? We could try it. We've, uh, we've got the team set up, so why not? Right, I'll run back. I'll grab that chocobo over here in the distance and we'll ride back to the Mission 55. I probably have food on the way at this point, but we'll, uh, we'll try it. We'll see if we can get there, okay? You do the strap with the mission 55. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, we'll try it, guys. Hopefully we get there without any hassle. I will right, we'll try. Come here, Chocobo. Come here, you cheeky monkey. Alright. Let's do it. Yo, Zepho, what's up, my dude? Welcome, man. Warm welcome to you, you sexy beast. I mean, what? Did I say that out loud? How's things, man? You alright? You can... Uh, how do you cast death on a leg? <laughs> I don't know, dude. It wasn't working for us. We tried. We tried to cast death on the leg. I think we got like six six or seven shots on him, so that was like a 10% chance for its success. Probably less than that if Billy's saying it's... What, Billy, you said, what, 1%? 7 with all the debuffs? I get it. do 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 do, -do. Where do you find out 1%? You sure that's not the smaller ones? I don't know. Do you have any sabotage with hopes? If you can debuff between healing it will increase your chance of DEATH. Um, Hope doesn't have any sabotage skills available, but Saz does. But Saz can't heal, which is obviously the main reason Hope's in the fight. I'm going the wrong way here. Oops. Sorry, guys. We can try it. I think this is enough. Even if we only have, like, um... If we get Vanille to do a bunch of debuffing... I think having a sentinel in this fight will actually help us survive quite a bit, but we'll see. We shall see. Maybe not. Wait, did that take- did that drain all my- I do have all my buffs, right? I think. Reading a guide, not 100% sure. 1% on the main body, no clue if you can do it in the legs, LMAO. <laughs> it's fine guys, we're alright. I think you need massive stat- like HP stats in order to combat that motherfucker anyway. He's very slow though, so like if you can sustain a hit and healing time, you will be able to probably just kill him slowly. Uh, right, let's try this guy again, shall we? Now this guy might just completely give us the slap and spank, um, but we will try our best. We will try our best, fam. I, I get what you're saying, Billy, about increasing the chances of the debuff going off. Um... I don't have any saboteur moves on hope, so we just have to roll like this, I think. Uh, why does Vanille have all that HP? Oh, oh, she's got CP from the last fight, right? Can I give Vanille just a smidge more HP just to give her, like, any kind of sustain? That would be insane. Uh, saboteur. Nope. Uh, medic. Does she have any HP in here? Over there at the strength. Okay, yeah, I guess we go for that. That one's 1200, but that would be 200 HP that would definitely be welcome. Uh, maybe if we like pop like haste and bravery? Alright, we're giving ourselves all the buffs here, we're kind of going all in. But I don't give a shit. Alright, here we go. Uh, abilities. Yeah, are we alive? Are we alive? I think we're alive. Dude, no, don't cast death. Don't cast- Vanille! Uh, where is he? Where's the big guy? Neo Chu. Kill his ass, quick! Oh! It's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. We got this, chat. Everybody close thine eyes. And pray. Pray to the RNGs. Bless, 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 bless. Oh! Maybe I can debuff him. Maybe I can debuff him. Debuffs are the way. Incoming debuffs. Any debuffs, Vanille, please? 
Just any. Just any. Oh, she's terrible. Vanille, come on, what are you doing? And the Shelga. Vanille, you're not taking this fight seriously in the slightest, are you? Right, fuck it, we're going for the... Oh, we got one off. I'll take it. Did he die? Is he dead? Screech, that's not good. Kill his ass. He killed us. Fuck. I fucking shot myself. Bless train. Was we tried, guys. I think we can get it though. We just need to get lucky, right? With the uh... dude, I think it's a matter of if you run the numbers, it's just a matter of when, not if. Just a matter of when. Here we go, baby. I mean, I spent a lot at the start of this fight fucking around, so if I actually just cast it on him, I think we may have a chance. Hope uh, Snow is actually doing a great job of tanking right now, which is awesome. Uh, no, we want to use death on his ass. Come on, baby. Come on, baby, let's go. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I believe. Death. Wait, Snow, what are you doing? Why, why are you attacking Snow? You've... Snow, what are you doing? I guess Snow's like tanking and then using Vendetta to do damage. Come on! We just need to kill him before he does the... Uh... He doesn't give a shit, chat. He doesn't give a shit. Damage. Kill it. Oh, God. We're so close. Try it. Come on. 8%. 8%. No, not pain, fog, and pain. Okay, I guess we're here now. Screech is, is death. Screech is death. <laughs> Fuck. <gasps> As soon as he does that, it's, as soon as he does that, it's game over, guys. I was just minding my own business, just mining ore, and a fucking Banbarrow launched me across the map. Not like this, she never like this. We can definitely, we can definitely get him. Do you guys believe? I believe, guys. I wish we could increase our odds with the whole debuffs, but I don't, I don't have them, guys. I don't have them. We just have to take it. Hope is about to die. Holy shit, dude. No, not death on the little guy. Why are you trying to... Vinyl, please! Are you drunk? <laughs> Vinyl, please. Uh, we're trying to, you know, kill the big dude. 8%. 8%. Believe, Aaron Jesus. Come on, man. 8% is not that small. I'm sorry for the noise this is making. You fucker just died. It works, I believe! Fuck. Go, 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 go. So we basically get as many, we get a lot of turns off until the screech, basically. Pew, pew! Mother of God, dude, are you kidding me? Are we sure? Are we, are we sure it's eight percent shot? Are we sure about that? No, we're dead. Fuck. Is it really over? If it is eight percent, dude. If it's if eight percent is the number, I am pretty sure we are getting unlucky at this stage because we have definitely done it enough times to hit the eight percent. Yo, Kano, what's up, man? Warm welcome, Kano. How's things? It's been a moment. Welcome to you, sir. How's the Saturday going, brother? Uh, oh, wait. I didn't do the buffs. <laughs> wait, I didn't do the buffs. Vanille, you've got one shot. Don't let me down. I forgot the fucking buffs. Yikes. Is it really over? I don't like this gentleman. He's an asshole. Alright. God damn it. Going great, nice one Kano, I'm glad man. I am super stoked for you my dude. It's good to have you here. Um, 
Uh, do you mind? Pew pew! The noise this game makes when it tries to fucking cast death is actually minging. There's two. Three. Four. Five. I have to see this through. Damn it, dude. Come on, man. Six. Seven. Damn it. Eight. This is the last chance. Oh, we can't get him, guys. He's been a bit of a pain in the in the bot. Not gonna lie. Well, we get eight chances. We get eight chances to cast it, um, and we've tried three times. So eight threes are what, like fucking, like twenty four. Hmm. We'll try once more. We'll give him one more go, okay? Isn't death only a 1% chance? I am, um, according to my chat, is 8%. I don't know. Maybe we are kind of, uh, I don't know. We are kind of cheesing the game. Oh, Hope died this time. Wow. That's not good. Why did Hope die? Lord Reaper says, I've just been lurking while on my PS4. This thing seems kind of awkward to kill. Yeah, he's a bit of a pain in the ass. Alright, last chance, Vanille. Don't let me down. I have to see this through. I don't know why Hulk will one-shot in this thing. I mean, if it's even if it's 1%. We've done it like fucking 30 times so far. Hmm. I wonder if there's like a strat to like actually just beat them regularly with this kind of setup. Hey, this is my last try, okay? And then after this, we're calling it quits, guys. Well, I don't know if we can beat this guy. I don't think we're literally. I don't know if we're tanky enough. This is the last try, okay? We have to believe, chat. We have to believe. One percent, yikes! I don't know if it is one percent. I don't know if that's true. Maybe we could just try poison or something. I don't know. Is he? He's not. He's definitely not immune to death, is he? He's not immune to poison. And he's not immune to instant death either. So he can die. Maybe even if I cast fog on him or something, it would stop him from doing his scream. I wonder if we can, like, actually... Maybe if we can stop him, it would give us more opportunities to kill him. There's a screech coming through it. Yikes. The Screech does too much damage, we're just not tanky enough to sustain, sustain that. If we... If we were able to survive the Screech, we would maybe be able to just go at him again, again, again and again, but... Obviously, what Billy was saying is if you can get more debuffs on him earlier in between the hope heals, you can increase your chances of killing him instantly, but... Fuck it. It's recommended uh, 10k minimum health on each character to do this, yeah. We're, uh, <laughs> we're half of that. Alright, one more for the road. I know I said last try was the last try, but this is the real last try, okay? Here we go. If you guys believe in it, I believe. Pew pew! 
I mean, every time we try it, it is like a chance that we win. It's just very unlikely. I mean, realistically, if we do it 100 times, we are statistically on track to hitting it, right? But it's just uh, getting there is obviously quite awkward. I wouldn't mind if it if it like buffered my move over and over, but I have to like identify death in the in the menu and use it. Here it comes, dude. You gotta do what you gotta do to survive, boys. That's it, dude. We don't really have to do this if I'm being honest. We could just push through and end the game, but this would make our grind a little bit easier. Beating this motherfucker. Here it comes. Come on in, deliver it. Uh oh. Rip. Yikes. If you do it 100%, you still only have a 60% uh, something chance to actually proc it. Oh, dude. Not even a drop of sweat, Kano. Even if that is true. Not even a drop of sweat. Alright, guys. I think we should probably call it quits there. We got some snacks on the way and whatnot. And then uh, Mrs. Wolfie will be wanting to eat that when it arrives. Plus, I want to do some other things tonight. I got a flat to tidy and whatnot. But we're going to go back to our save point. Our nearest save point is just over here around the corner. So that's not bad. We did actually get a golden nugget earlier, which is uh, quite valuable to us. Maybe I'll sell that just now. And uh, maybe we can consider like sorting out our party a little bit more tomorrow, I think. We haven't streamed for very long today. Only for about five hours, which is a bit lackluster. But, um, yeah. Let me go ahead and... Components should be in here. Gold nugget, 6k, 60k. So here's our money uh, on the left. You guys can see, actually, I don't even have to move my webcam. Um, okay, so we're actually pretty rich at this point. I don't know whether to save up for Saz's item and try and upgrade his weapon or not. But uh, in all reality, I think that we're strong enough to beat some of the late game fights in this game and maybe even finish the game. Um, we have overgrinded the shit out of this playthrough. I have never kind of spent as much time kind of wandering around and buffing. We weren't able to beat this last fight, unfortunately, but I'm pretty sure we were close. You know, the strategy for casting death seems pretty fun, even if it is a bit cheesy. I don't mind. We've not done anything else like that in the playthrough so far, so it is what it is, but... We, uh, we did alright today, we got some more progress. Uh, what I'll do is I'll save my game here. And we'll rearrange our party when we come back tomorrow. And uh, and then we'll go back to playing the game normally, most likely. I think we will probably just head back to Airba, Airbnb, as we've been nicknaming it. And then probably just progress with the rest of the game. And uh, yeah, that should be fine. I don't know if I want to run, in, run around and do some of the other missions. There is the possibility of trying that, potentially. But it would take a lot... A lot of time and I don't know if it's even worth it. Obviously there's the Trials of Titan or whatever, the Titan Trials that you guys keep mentioning. I don't know if we're going to do that or not, but maybe we can complete the game first and then figure out what we're going to do after. You guys kind of mentioned before that I think we can get to the end and then come back after we've beaten the game, is that right? I'm not entirely sure, but have you tried just hitting the death? <laughs> we have, right? We have, yeah. But anyways guys, I'm going to just rattle through some of the stuff we received today. Uh, and shout you guys out real quick. We got Water Inks resubscribing with Prime for eight months. We had a host coming through from Riley, which was awesome. So thank you to those guys. Uh, we also had a resub from Dragon Ollie. We then got the raid from Mr. Snowbar, and finally we got a thousand bits gifted to us from Water Inks as well. So pretty, uh, pretty good for a quick stream, guys. These have been absolutely insane the last couple of days. I'll go ahead and plug the Discord if anybody is at all interested in Discord shenanigans. But uh, I'm gonna go off, guys. I'm gonna go and get some snacks tonight. I'll be back tomorrow. And we'll do an actual proper stream. I feel like today was very short and whatnot, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll hang out tomorrow if you guys are down. So come Sunday if you fancy uh, playing some more Final Fantasy and potentially seeing the end of this game. Hopefully we get that done soon. I think it should be tomorrow. We'll see. You guys have been amazing. Sorry we didn't stream for too long today, guys, but it's been fun. Thank you for keeping me company during the grind. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, okay? Let me find my end screen real quick. See you later, guys. Take it easy, all right? Bye-bye.